All right, like like the guys, we just talking off camera real quick. It's gonna be like unusual podcast. We're gonna get into the podcast, but first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sample these grits right here. Yeah, yeah. I seen I seen the grits and the like salmon is like my favorite. Oh really? Oh yeah, that's like my that's like the oh, man. the ichiban. You're in for a treat, oh, yeah. then, man. You're in for a treat then because this is uh this is my favorite dish. Oh yeah. I call it the baby grand. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of like nostalgic kind of vibes that go into the name and all that, but. Um, I used to play the piano. Okay. Growing up, and uh, grits has always been like a a go to kind of comfort thing. Yeah. For me, so yeah, I'm, I'm Baltimore, I'm Baltimore man. So I grew. I mean, I grew up. I actually, in my, if you go to my house now, I got. Mm -hmm. my, my, you might be a little bit uh, mad at me. I got some instant grits in the house because I'm. Oh, no, 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 uh, no, no, you're good. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know, I, like, <laughs> yeah. And then we definitely gonna get. We definitely gonna get into the because it's funny, man. With the with the with the timing of the podcast, one of my dudes, my teammates. Mm -hmm. Posted up uh, some joint about grits. We'll get into it. And he was like, yeah, yeah. pretty much, uh, you know, butter, sugar, and uh, which kind? Does it does it not or does it go on grits? And mm. you could tell people from the East Coast. It was like, I mean, you know, what I mean, yeah, in, in moderation. Yeah, right. And everything. Yeah, yeah. So, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So, all right. So, all right. So, we got the sal salmon, and we so, got yeah. the mushroom. We got a salmon fillet, and we got okay. mushrooms, uh, honey, chili. Okay. Uh, kind of bourbon sauce yeah. for the mushroom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, dude. I ain't had, I ain't had like, dude. This yeah. This this is all like I. Dude, I ain't been home in like sixteen mm -hmm. years, man. Oh, really? So yeah, this is, yeah, man. This is uh, yeah. The pictures the the pictures do it justice, guys up there and everything watching, listening. Like I say, first time on Pinker Stop Podcast again. With Dave we got Wiz down there on the chair. We'll bring Wiz up towards the end of the podcast and everything. Um, I'm actually down. Okay. In, like the Yokosuka area. Gotcha. Yeah. Facebook, um, as far as like my personal page, yeah. I'm just really. Uh, at first, it was just me really being really bad at updating it. Yeah. And then it turned into like, oh, well, this is kind of benefit me, I guess, security wise. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and plus, Masawa, it's kind of like a second home, man. Because when I came out here, I was 19 years old with oh, the yeah. Navy, and I didn't really leave uh, my hometown, Memphis, Tennessee. I didn't really leave Memphis too much. Um, Outside of like visiting family here and there, gotcha. So when I finally stepped out of the house, like on my own, it was Navy, and this was the first place they brought me. So mm. a lot of my growing up kind of happened here as well. Gotcha, man. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, this dude, this is dope, bro. Like I never. This is actually my first time in my life I had like gourmet grits, dude. Mm. Like I mean, grits have just been like you know. Mm. Pretty much whatever you put, like we got some bacon leftover, chop it up and throw yeah, it in there. And like yeah. I say, coming up from Baltimore, mm. we would, like I don't, I think it was what I think it was is my grandmother used to always make cream of wheat. And the cream of wheat, yeah, I always try to make my grits taste like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I would put, I, nobody showed me, I just put like sugar. First yeah. time a little bit too much sugar in there, <laughs> sugar butter, mm -hmm. and then just like that, uh, and salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And if we had some bacon leftover. Or the bacon grease. My, my dad. My dad was somewhat of a. Um, like I say, this podcast foreground, man. We we in a podcast right now. We'll 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 chop. We'll cut to not eating and everything in a second. But for sure, for sure. my dad. Uh, my dad was some somewhat of a. Um, like he was somewhat of a, a ghetto chef, man. Like I mean, mm -hmm. he can cook, but he he he, he was. I mean, I'm, I mean, he, dude's alcoholic. So he couldn't hold yeah. down a job, but he, all the, all the jobs he got was like cooking in the school, cooking at a, mm -hmm. a uh, what's that the. Double tree he cooked mm -hmm. that. He he always like gravitated towards cooking, and then when I was growing up to man, he would um, he would kind of, he would you know we you know you know how the food was and mm -hmm. I mean in a mm -hmm. proverbial hood everybody come from that stuff like that and right, so whatever's right. in there, so he would grab the rice, some hot dog, egg, onions, and that's why I mean I, I cooked that for my wife the other day and she was just like what's this I'm like, that's what we had. You just threw it together. We just threw it together and she mm -hmm. just they were like. So I should go. I'm like, dude, this is like not. This is yeah. raviolis, dude. Like, yeah, you know, right. Relax. I had a, <laughs> I had a similar situation um, <laughs> with my family, and um, like, I, I don't know. Like, I was supposed to make dinner one night. Yeah. Uh, I saw the missus was. She was like tired or whatever. I'm like, you know, she's not gonna be able to do anything. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna whip something up. And I was like, yo, we ain't got shit in here <laughs> to to cook. And then I saw, I saw three things and I was like okay I can make this happen mm. because my pops did a lot of that too yeah. he, he would just throw something together the funny thing about him though is he would give 
this is little just his name. Mm. And this is kind of like rolled into like what I'm doing now. Um, he had signature dishes, and they were super cheap, super simple. You know, kind of you know ghetto hodgepodge kind of dishes. Right. But we loved them, and it would always you know bring us joy when he come home and be like, oh, I'm doing you know the no name sandwich or, gotcha. or Texas beans and rice. So the Texas beans and rice, I saw the ability to make it that night, and I was just like, okay, I think I can do this, but you know. I'm not my pop, so I can right. spruce it up a little bit right. more. Being here in Japan, fresh produce and all that shit. So, you know, had some negi that I could throw in there. And, you know, I, I mixed it up real quick, put it on the table, and the missile was blown away. Mm. Like, I did some fucking Gordon Ramsay shit. Like, yeah, that. yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Eating it like, oh, my yeah. God, this is so yeah, good. Man. You done made this before. I'm like, oh, well. Cause, just, you know, yeah, I think, because the thing about it, I think, yeah. weird, I think you shared them. Um, I think you shared something about I don't know I'm not sure if it was your your stuff I know you've been doing it for a while we get into the timeline but mm-hmm. I think it was Wiz or somebody or my, no no it was my other dude mm-hmm. my, another teammate of mine moved to Atlanta like just I don't know what his migration between Baltimore and Atlanta is but mm-hmm. people do trades all the time so dudes mm-hmm. just leave Atlanta go to Baltimore Interesting. vice versa so he got down there he's actually doing his own drink now he got my guy Danny Hawkins so mm-hmm. he's in the, he's in the, um working in a bar. And he, he, when he got to Atlanta that first year, mm. was just nothing but, like, posting. I'm like, dude, you got to stop posting this shit, man. It's like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. badass food, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? <laughs> in, 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 in a good way for the guys, people yeah, from, okay. from, the, you know, you know, from Nebraska, you bad is good, you know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Michael Jackson. So, he was posting mm-hmm. all this food, and one thing he did post in Atlanta was gourmet grits. And I'm like, dude, I never in my life thought, like, you would combine, mm. like, you know what I mean, a steak you know what I mean? A, yeah. a sirloin steak Mm-mm. on top of grits is like, that's like, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? That's, I never, you know what I mean? The for, for, for me, like I said, the furthest we got, the mm-hmm. fans, there was some, some bacon bits in there or something yeah, like yeah. that, you know what I'm saying? But, Naturally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. But dude, like this, this is a, uh, yeah, man. Yeah. I was like, I'm glad you enjoyed yeah, it. man. I'm glad you enjoyed <laughs> And the salmon yeah. too, man. That's like, I mean, I eat salmon like at least once or twice a week. Like mm-hmm. that's my wife. She bought a little salmon from Universe. Nice and uh, yeah, salmon is like my. I think here in Baltimore, lake trout. They don't know what lake trout is here, mm, mm. so I had lake trout in like you know 16, 17 years. Here, yep, right. That's good. Cool, cool, cool. cool, cool. Okay. All right. Hey, what's going on, guys? We're gonna be dying coming to Masawa Japan Penguin Star Podcast. It's been a while. I've been away. I've just been busy with stuff. Uh, we got two guests here. Actually, this, the Wiz down there on the couch again. Uh, where's where's <laughs> you can't even see there you go <laughs> where's where's the last time we were here in a, in a live joint uh, where's the board uh, Everett up from uh, Sendai and everything so where's it just feed me feed me guests and everything and right after um uh, uh DJ Red Rock was here and everything he, he brought up Dave here David and uh, we just got into it and everything and that thing is I actually seen um seen your stuff before where's got into it and everything oh, nice. and then I seen when I looked you up my bad on that I seen that you sent me a friend request so I, I don't I don't see those too much and everything so in, anyway yeah, yeah. without further ado we got my guy David here again Dave thanks for coming into the podcast man you. thanks for um as you guys seen uh a little bit before that we was getting into some grits after I actually put mine on pause and everything so again man um the biggest thing, man, again, like I say, soon as Wiz uh, threw, the, threw your name my way, I was like, yeah, let's do it. And um, my thing is, like, networking, I think, is a big thing that's um, it's not it's not utilized. Mm. And then, you know what I mean, to be really honest in the top of the podcast, man, a lot of, you know, I don't know what it is, man, but, like, a lot of, uh, you've probably seen and experience it, man, like, you know, you're doing something positive and doing something for progressing. Mm. And there's a lot of black cats here that ain't really – they're just doing like the bare minimum mm. and then they kind of get like that kind of vibe like you know what i mean you're doing too much or something like that and yeah, stuff yeah. like that so yeah. i get it a bunch man and i just I, I kind of you know I, I see it and i move i move on and do everything man but again thanks for coming in man so well i thank mean you, thank you so before we get into it man like i just i just want to plug like your you know whatever you got your, your go make grits um, mm. stuff like that up the top because people kind of you know what i mean they want to see all information so okay um, a little bit about your, your your company and what you do with it and how it, how it start and stuff like that okay okay so uh i got the gourmet grits on facebook also uh instagram the grits chef um and yeah right now that's uh that's that's pretty much those two avenues to to link up with me and uh and uh, if you're interested in trying the food, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I normally have people send me messages. Um, I I 
cooked my food for uh, private dinner functions. I've I've uh, catered for uh, parties at like bars, and uh, lately uh, this year, I've started you know branching out, trying to use those uh, those networks and those yeah. connections I formed over the years, and I started doing grits tastings to kind of get more you know Japanese people and just people in general. Yeah. Who are interested in grits or haven't had it before yeah. or love it yeah. to just come out and share any experience. So, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. flamban baby. Yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> the the dish that you probably you know, you're chopping it up, um, but uh, the the dish that uh, that I brought to you today was actually my favorite one. Yeah. I, I call it the baby grand. Okay, um, and uh, it's the uh, it's the one. You know, anytime you catch me flambéing something, I'm probably whipping up a batch of the baby grand. So, uh, cheese grits, uh, salmon fillet, mm. uh, mushrooms uh, flambéed, and and like a uh, honey uh, chili bourbon sauce. Got you, man. Yeah, and uh, that dish came together like over. Shucks, man! How many years did it take? I say I started working on recipes in general, like seriously working on recipes with this idea in mind seven years ago. Gotcha. Um, and it just kind of branched from like, you know, I was getting older, you know, and I would think back on home and how my dad would have signature dishes. And I was like, I want signature dishes right. on my own so that, you know, when I have a family eventually and all that, you know, I could have the same effect that my dad had on me when it's like, you know, he come home and be like, oh, I'm making this, I'm making that. I'm making a no-name sandwich. Yeah, Only yeah. we knew what the yeah, no-name yeah, yeah. sandwich was, right? And it was just, uh, it was a joy to have those moments, and I wanted to create those moments uh, for, like, family in the future. So yeah. I started digging down and, and, and working on signature dishes, and grits was just, like, the first thing to come to me because it was just a, it's a comfort thing. Like, yeah. I, can't explain where the passion really originated, man. Like grits has always just been my thing. Like even when I was, uh, like one of my earliest grits like memories. Uh, yeah. My father had remarried uh, after a little while. Uh, divorced my mother when I was young, but he remarried uh, around the time I was like in middle school. Mm. And the the lady he married, she had a few kids come in too. And she had a daughter, one. Um, who love grits as well, but they're coming from New York. Right. Right. So they're used to eating it with sugar and it's sweet. Now, me, I'm I'm coming from the South. We don't typically do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but given given the nature of my project and how I'm like trying to elevate grits and, and make it more like one of the things I say is like grits is a lot more versatile than people give it credit yeah. for. So in the spirit of that mindset. Uh, I've been backing off of the. You know, it's fun to poke fun at each other. You know, yeah, it's like, yeah, are you yeah, from yeah. the north? Yeah. You put sugar in your grits. <laughs> you, yeah. you one of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. But it, you know, <laughs> man, all all the fun uh, aside, though, like, there's no animosity or hostility towards anybody that eats their grits a certain way. In fact, I I now encourage it because, um, like I said, showing the versatility of the dish. I have uh, I've got a sweeter then savory version of it that I make as well. Um, so anyway, she's coming from the New York side. So she naturally wants to make grits a certain way. And I'm talking like, you know, oh, I can make grits. And then we, we get into it like, oh, she's like, I make a better pot of grits than you can. I'm yeah. like, Shh. yeah. Like who are you who yeah. talking to right now? Like this yeah, thirteen yeah, year old yeah. me, like yeah. you gonna come in my house, I'm yeah, like, you gonna yeah, out grits yeah. me? Yeah. At thirteen, so we we had a little we had a little grits off, and at the end of the day, like you know, she she played by the house rules, so she didn't sweeten it. She put mm. salt in it, um, but at the end of the day, it was a draw mm. between me and her because she uh, her grits were too thick. Yeah, and about them and definitely gritty. Thick. She yeah. ain't cooking for long enough. Yeah, me, I had the perfect creamy consistency. But what a what a bite! But I didn't salt my shit. Okay well enough so it yeah. was bland yeah, yeah it was smooth it was good but it was bland mm. and hers was seasoned well but it was just clumpy lumpy yeah yeah gritty. yeah so but from that point on man it was just like grits has just always been my thing and uh yeah it's grown into to what you see now like just 
me, like I said, trying to come up with signature dishes for myself, and it just evolved into like, okay, what can I do yeah. to make grits more? <clears throat> If you've been watching Pinku Style for a bunch on YouTube, you know I've been in Japan for about 16 years. One of the most challenging things when you come to a foreign country is getting a control somehow on a, on a local language. That way you can communicate effectively, make more money, do business, and all that stuff like that. When you go to a Japanese, speak to Japanese, you don't read the book. You, you, spoke, you speak to a person face-to-face. -face. It's going to be Japan Language Factory, GLF. I've run by Turumi Kai. I've been partnered with Turumi Kai for about now two months. If you want to go ahead and learn Japanese, definitely get over to japanlanguagefactory.com. Check out the check out the site. See what they got to offer. You'll get a free consultation uh, when you sign up. And after that, you can kind of determine your program and things like that. If the program, of course, is two months. And what you're going to do is you're going to learn how to effectively communicate using the things that you like to do. For example, if you're into cars, they can talk about cars. If you're into bowling, they can talk about bowling and center your lessons around stuff that you're interested in. Versus trying to learn about, let's say, banking if you're not into banking. All right, so there's about 2,000 Japanese letters. There's over 500,000 Japanese words and phrases. And if you try to learn all of them at the same time, you're going to spin your wheels. And at the same time, you guys know out there are kids. When kids grow up, they speak Japanese. They don't go to school. They just speak Japanese naturally from what they hear. So it is possible for us out there to learn different phrases, learn Japanese properly, and apply yourselves in a fashion that you're actually going to learn Japanese the way you want to learn Japanese. So again, that's going to be JLF. Check them out. You're going to enter code Penku Style JLF. That's, again, Penku Style JLF when you sign up. And that will help out the podcast, and that will actually get you learning Japanese quicker. So again, check out JapanLanguageFactor.com. Terumi Kai, and you guys will be learning Japanese in no time. Peace. That's the thing right there, because even looking at this picture in front of us, man, with the salmon, I just got, I got, got mm -hmm. finished eating a, a portion of that, man. It's like, you can even see, like, the, the texture. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing, like you mentioned, like, everything I want, I was an action, man. Mm -hmm. Like, the text, some people overcook, some people undercook, some people have, like, some people like, like, I mean, actually, depending on it, I, I like kind of sometimes mm -hmm. uh, a creamy, creamy mm -hmm. with, like, a, some, some, a little, uh, a couple clumps in there here mm -hmm. and there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like if it like you said, if the whole thing is just dry, yeah, it's dry and like mm. you're almost like you know what I mean the Popeyes biscuit effect when you swallow it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like you ain't got yeah, uh, you ain't got no water. <laughs> you ain't, water. And then like and then like eight hours later, you like you playing a game, mad and like you like got grits in the back of your throat and Yo. shit still. Yo. It's like it's stuck in your cavity and shit. Yo, like yeah, yeah. it's like it's, it's, <laughs> so it's brutal. Yeah, man. So it's like it's, it's. I mean, the thing is, it's something that's so simple. Yeah. In nature, is is just grits. His grits is just is yeah. is like almost rice. Is that extra yeah, fattening? Yeah. Like, it's it's it's, it's mm -hmm. cheap to make. You know, it's yeah. cheap to make. It, it grows and all mm -hmm. stuff like that. Then you go back into like the you know getting mm -hmm. back to the slave, the slave stuff, man. It was like cheap for them to feed. You yeah, know, yeah. The slave stuff like that, yeah. oats and dates and whatever. Mm -hmm. So like that's why I think it's a southern. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Some, it's a southern thing because I mean they weren't doing it they weren't doing yeah. it well as far as we know they weren't doing it in the yeah. north with southern the slaves things like a, a meal for, for, for working people essentially yeah. because one of the things like, we got a we got a handful of dishes down south like that they, they, what they say they, they stick to your ribs right right. so you, you wanna... get up early in the morning you make you a, a hearty breakfast of grits and, and whatever else you're putting in it and you can just go power through a work day, yeah. whatever you're doing, and, and you're good. It sits yeah. on you. You're good to go. So Yeah, my wife, she kind of, the only thing she, every time we, uh, when I cook, like her mom always, like, she, her mom is 78, so she, she you know, she got a monitor where she, she eat. her dad passed away from uh, uh -huh. uh, diabetes about uh, 19 years ago. My dad's working on that right now. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. yeah working on it, man. Working on, I mean, it's a, it's a back and forth, <laughs> man. Yeah. The, yeah. uh. And the um, so she's like always. She's always says it's rich. Like I like the other day I made um, mm. I made she like the kids like uh, the Velveeta shells and cheese. They just I don't make it too much, mm -hmm. but I make it. I make I made Velveeta shells and cheese. Um, my mom. I grew up on salmon cakes, right. like salmon cake because we had the crab crab cakes was too. That was you know I mean that was once. Once yeah, every six months, a, a super special yeah. Occasion type and thing. I, you yeah. know, what I mean, so now it's, I mean, I go to the thing now and I grab the fill, so like I can mm -hmm. make, you know, I mean, I'm fortunate to make crab cakes anytime I want. The salmon cakes is what we made. I finally, I, I like, I'm like, hey, mom, when you come here, like, I mean, I, I matched your your flavor, mm -hmm. but I made it better because <laughs> she would kind of, I mean, after work she would get there, you know, tear tear it apart, and she, I mean, after work she, you know, it, she sometimes it'd be like the little skin left in there of some bones or whatever. I didn't particularly like that, you know, when when it's fried. Right. So when I do mine, it's straight meat. 
I don't mm-hmm. have nothing. I mean, I separate it mm-hmm. and make sure everything is separate. She leaves like the skin in there and interesting. Okay, and it, yeah. it kind of I can see. Yeah, yeah you know, what I mean, it mm-hmm. just when it's in the middle of it and you bite into it, yeah, you, you gotta, gotta pull like, that out. Yeah, I'm like, nah, yeah. son, I don't like that mm-hmm. milky like slimy messing, shit. Messing up the messing yeah. up the consistency. Yeah, and I'm, I gotta like put that to the side, yeah. get another cake. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, man, it, it, it um. It's just like again, you grow up. I grew up cooking and stuff, man. And like she would, she was like, you know, it's good, but it's like rich. I'm like, it, it ain't supposed to be bland. Like they got nah. this bland ass, yeah. You know what I mean? Consomme soup, rice, yeah. Nah. And then and then mm. don't don't get gravy on. Like they eat they they you if I put gravy on the rice or make some brown gravy, right. put it on the rice, they look at me stupid. Oh yeah. And then I'm like, dude, you you go to you put curry. It's the same shit. It's uh, yo. It, it's somebody, just, somebody <laughs> broke my brain. <laughs> With that, like I forgot where I heard it at, man. But it was just like he was like, "Yo, is curry just some gravy with yeah. some spice in it? Yeah, like it's just a spicy yeah. gravy. Yeah, you know. So we've been, and it's funny. It's like we got dishes that that mingle and, and, and associated and related to each other that we didn't even think about, like you know, grits and I mean grits, but yeah. <laughs> rice and gravy. <laughs> Rice yeah. and gravy is 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 you know curry rice just yeah. in a like a different style, different flavor, but you know same picture. And you know people eating curry all over the world, especially in yeah. Asia. And you know back at home we had you know rice and gravy, and we we weren't too far apart from what yeah. they were doing. Somebody came to me and was like, "Yo, man, um, you think you got like a an American version of ramen?" And I sat there and I was like, "Nah." And then I was like, "Hold up, wait a minute." Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, we we did a Chicken lot of sh- noodles. Yeah, too. we did a lot. Yeah, we you did a lot. What I'm saying, if you think about it, yeah, yeah, you because know. yeah, the ramen, the, mm-hmm. the way I made, you know, the the, the neat, the it was a nis, nissen or whatever. Mm-hmm. Growing up, I mean, that was what like it was twenty five cent a pack, and that was just when you went to my my people house, East Baltimore, West Baltimore, we opened a cabinet. That's mm-hmm. pretty much what was in there, and yeah. it was like you know, what I mean, it was twenty five cent a pack or less. Mm-hmm. So I mean, you just stack them up. So that was how you know. So I, I mean, I. Some people would just throw it in the thing. I I prefer mine. I would crunch them up mm. and make like uh, I would I like al dente kind of. Yeah, I'm getting yeah, I'm yeah. getting technical with fucking oh, no, yeah, ramen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying the no, cheapest cool. goddamn food in the market. But yeah. I would make. I don't like mine. I, I gotta have a bite to it. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Gotta have a bite to it. That's why that I think that's why that term exists al dente. Yeah, a lot of people have that preference. Yeah, it's just yeah. a bite. But then yeah. I'll eat the. But mm. then when she when she eat this, she's like, well, I don't like certain things here when they. Slimy, soft mm-hmm. stuff, but then you know, grits, cream of wheat. I eat that. She's like, "Why? How can you eat that?" And I'm like, "Cause it, it's still even though it is, it it, it appears creamy, it's still mm-hmm. it's not overcooked, right?" And like, right. so when she eat that, that's just gonna be our first time yeah. um eating actual mm-hmm. real grits. The last time I gave her grits, it was instant. Okay, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hook up man, make sure that you know you get something fresh too, because I mean, you can revive that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's. In my opinion, it's not the yeah, same. Yeah, yeah, it's I mean, not. It's me just being like, you know. Oh no, bro, that, that's <laughs> one of the biggest. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the. You've been there for a bit, man. That's mm-hmm. one of the biggest. Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't want to seem like you know uh, ungrateful when I get oh, home, no, but they, no. they have a thing like you know, they'll cook some food, dude. When they, I'm like, bro. Case in point, mm. McDonald's fries got to be eaten in the first two to three minutes. They got to. That's my personal opinion. Yeah. If it, after that, it's like. I mean, you can you can mm. not air fry them, but nah. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. like you know what I mean. It's they like lost, they yeah. lost their their their. Yeah, it's like their, their zing. Yeah, at that point, that's yeah. it. Like they got to be eating. Yeah. I mean, that bed you can't mm-hmm. go in the bed because it's gonna go in the bed for five ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Get and it's like certain things. I'm like I'm telling her like you know, mm-hmm. uh, it's just uh, the, it looks good, but when they do the we do the New Year's uh the New Year's gathering, mm-hmm. like everything is cooked like five hours before. Like bro, that shit's they, ice cold. They, man. Yeah, they like throwing it on the table and getting the, yeah. the presentation yeah. of it, but it's like. Yo, like, but she knows that when I go yeah. over there, she actually not. They, they look at me weird, but she she'll throw a few back in the day. She give me the ebby shrimp and a. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't I don't do I don't do mm-hmm. sushi, man. But I, she'll she'll she get the um the salmon uh yeah. the the katsu salmon. Mm-hmm. So she just katsu everything for me the mm-hmm. the ebby ebby fry. So she'll throw a few back in the fryer for me. But mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, it looks awesome, but it's cold. It's ice, bro. It's the <laughs> the flavor is totally right. Yeah. I mean, cold, cold, like cold, like you know. I mean, yeah. potato salad, cold, cool. Sure, yeah. you know what I mean. But 
Chicken, chicken, yeah, nah, don't, don't, nah, dude. don't serve me cold I mean, chicken. I, yeah, I, I mean, I it was a point where I had yeah. to eat that back in the day, but you know I don't have saying? to now, man. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, sure. speaking of that, man, so, like, so far as you're, so, like, how long have you been in Japan? Because we just got straight in the food, man. Oh, well, shucks, <laughs> <laughs> it's real easy yeah, to yeah, tell yeah, you yeah. about it, man. People love to eat, but no, nah, I've so I've been here uh, 12 years 12? altogether, 12 okay. years altogether, and that's like you know, first with the with the military, got you, and then. Uh, got out and, and started working, um, and just kind of been here ever since, man. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, Misawa was the first place I ended up with okay. the military, and uh, I got out here. I was nineteen, man. So Wait, what year? Two thousand ten. Okay, so I was there. Yeah, I late there. late two thousand ten, somewhere around October. Um, um, and yeah, like like I, I tell people um, all the time, it's like a second home to me because I was so young. Yeah. Coming out here in the first place. I had a lot of growing up back home. A lot of growing up happened when I when I got out on my own. Yeah. Came over here, you know, as a result of it. And it's just uh yeah. Um so yeah, twelve years. Twelve years. Um some time up here and then down south. Okay. The, so yeah, so twelve I mean Tokyo we pretty much I have been here, I'm going I'm about to hit well I'm at uh I'm at about fifteen and a half. So mm, August nice. August uh August one. 2000, you know, 23 will be 16. Nice, nice. And um, mm-hmm. so, yeah, man, so it, definitely, man, I, I, cause I, you know, it, to be brutally honest, man, I think if you're like guys who are here, like, you know, two to four, year, two to five years, mm. it's a different, you know, it's yeah. kind of like levels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah, let, so, if I, yeah, you know, yeah. 12 years, like, 12 years, 15 years, we experience, I guarantee we experience mm-hmm. a lot of the same mm-hmm. shit. Oh, yeah. We for already, sure. we already just chopped it up. Wiz for been sure, there for, for sure. a bit. Um, I mean, and Wiz works with you know Twan and uh, and Aaron. So Twan, Greg, and Jr. Mm-hmm. on a different like they've been there. I think what twenty years. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. So they, you know, I mean, even though like I'm close to that, that's still five extra years mm. that um, he's been there. But then at a certain point, I think after after about honestly, I think twelve, twelve to thirteen. Yeah. You're pretty much. You've you've experienced, I guess, within your realm. Because I mean, if you go to a different thing or do something else, Damn. that's a whole different thing. So me, I'm in the racing, martial arts, music. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, honestly, I want to do uh, music. I've done the least amount. Mm-hmm. Like I haven't done. I know they got NPC battles, which I'm not tooting my horn, but I would kill that shit. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> 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 like that. Uh, it's shoot. like, yeah, man. Yeah, but now, man, it's like I want to get down there and meet and meet some different people because the, the 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 automotive and the that's I'm I'm solid there. You know what For I mean? Sure. That's where I made my bones and um, stuff like that and made things happen. But mm-hmm. the music thing, I mean, I really want to tap into that and and because my thing, like I say, networking, man. You never yeah. know. I mean, there's a music cat that's in the cars. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's the biggest thing. I think uh, when I dropped out of college after mm-hmm. three years, mm-hmm. played University of Maryland, mm-hmm. uh, played football there. Uh, biggest thing I was doing there was networking where everybody else is just worrying about the grades, which grades was, you know, yeah. that's, that's what you're there right, for. Right, of course. But um, my I met a dude, and he was like, bro, you can graduate with anything. And my dad works in Northern Grumman. I already know you don't, don't with computers. You will have a job. And he was like, all you got to do is graduate. Mm-hmm. This is back before I joined the Air Force. So, I mean, literally, if I would have graduated, he was like, I met his dad. He was like, yeah, man, I, mm-hmm. my son talked about you. He's like, pretty much you're good. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, that is I mean, then I'm like, dude, that's how the world works, that's man. That's networking, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. you know what I mean? Shit, I didn't yeah. bring up Twan down there. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I got the job that uh, Wiz is working at now, like mm-hmm. I didn't even do an interview. I did, he's like, hey, man, you, you still want to get over here? Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, cool. All right, show up on this day and mm-hmm. and For sign sure. some papers. And, yeah. you know, I mean, that's because he we knew each other and we mm-hmm. drift together. We all do the car stuff and everything, man. Yeah, so yeah. People, but, people are looking to hire people, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You got to connect with these people and uh, like you, th- those connections uh, yeah because it is rule, it, a lot. and it rules lot. out like the yeah sometimes you hire dudes and you like all right man is this dude gonna be cool yeah it's right, like yeah, even yeah, when Wiz yeah. got picked up yeah. and then like you know even when chester is there and everything i'm not sure if you met no met chester but um but he was mm-hmm. the, you know they he asked me hey man who do you know anybody that mm-hmm. could fill your spot mm-hmm. and i was like you know what i mean yeah pretty much you know this guy i know he's a solid guy i met him uh, als yeah. Mm-hmm. And 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 you know it's so it's just it, it rules out this it's you gonna be a fucking Jeffrey Dahmer, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's right. Like, you know what I mean? It's like For it sure. just rules that shit out. So people feel bad. I'm like, nah, bro. It's yeah. that's just if I'm gonna hire somebody, yeah, yeah, like yeah. you know what I mean? I'm gonna try to 
make it easy for me. Yeah, yeah. And because uh, everything, I mean, everybody, we're humans are unpredictable. I mean, every, I've done price much unpredictable shit Mm-mm-mm. in my past, and uh, nobody's perfect. But as far as like so. more so for me, I'll tell you the truth, man, because we get to learn know each other. For me, yeah. it's not doing anything grimy or dirty. It's just yeah. more so t- putting the motherfucker in their place. Oh, as yeah, far yeah, as yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's one thing I don't. I, I yeah. mean, we're all everything is cool and cool, but yeah, um, yeah. the way I grew up and people I was taught by was like, hey man, like nip shit in the bud quickly. Don't oh, let yeah. it fester for two, four, right, five right, weeks. Right, right. Just like you got sure. a problem, somebody disrespected you, let them know. You ain't got to. Yeah, it, it's, it's not gonna be hands. Right, on, but it's just like, real, hey man, don't, yeah, don't, yeah. don't, don't put your hand in my pocket. I had to tell a dude mm. at the hobby shop when I got here in uh, 08. Huh. Dude grew up here. Yeah. And uh where's you know Big John? I, and I told I talked to John about this before. He kid grew up. He grew up. He he was born in uh, Okinawa. Mm, then mm. his dad, uh GS fucking eighty five, whatever. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, his dad like running shit. Yeah. And right. um he, he kinda grew up so he he picked up character traits from other Americans mm, that were doing fuckboy uh, shit. Yeah. And one I'm at the hobby shop one day yeah. and he comes up behind me and puts his hand in my pocket. I'm like, bro, I will I, like I will literally beat the shit out of you, dude. Mm, yeah. And I was like, don't use like, Oh man, I'm just playing. I'm like, dude, that that's I ain't never. Yeah. No, I, you know man. what I mean? I'm like, I'm from Baltimore, dude. You don't we, play we, those games. Yeah. You no. know what I mean? Like put his hand in my pocket, bro. No, I'm like, you don't no. you know what I mean? You don't do mm. that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If I have to school him there and like, let him know respectfully, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey man, don't do that again. And then Mm-mm. I told him why not to. Yeah. And we we you know, and ever since we was he we was mm. he was cool because he knew I wasn't like a pushover and things like that. Mm-hmm. So anyway, getting out getting out yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna it's not about me, it's about about the guests here. No, but yeah, of course, no, no. so like as far as um are you, you a single family or do you got Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um so um I got a wife okay. and a daughter. Okay. Uh daughter's three, just turned three this year. Um and yeah, pretty pretty quiet. Um uh, we, we pop around and you know the the virus kind of stopped a lot of movement, yeah. of course, but you know, we we do things in our area. Um, uh, try to keep baby girl active, cause man, yeah, it, it it's my fault. I already know. I already <laughs> know. Like she be looking at me like, this is you, cause baby girl is on like eleven, yeah, all day. You know, she'll fall asleep and drop the hat, yeah. but she'll pretend like she's not tired. You catch her slipping every now and then, like her eyes start like, uh, or she she yawn a what's little the, bit. What's the what's the average time she getting to sleep at night? <sighs> Man, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like <laughs> I mean, so my, no, I, I tell, no, <laughs> I'll tell like you straight good. up, my, mine's yeah, my, 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 mine's on average, and it's yeah. I know it's bad on average mm. nine fifty five is when they're. Yeah. yeah, I know that's real. Yeah. I, mean, cause I keep it real. like we try we right. not that we trying is like, dude, I got yeah. I got five, I got uh, five, I got two, I got oh, uh, I got two boys, mm. a girl, and uh, two twin girls. Wow. So yeah, we, we, we my wife got fixed and everything. I I volunteered, but she <laughs> for some reason she wanted me to stay. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, <laughs> so she, yeah, so she got, <laughs> she's like, no, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, the oldest is six. I mean, so it's pretty, yeah. pretty much been like a factory, dude. So yeah, yeah. That's why I got the van outside and everything. Mm, but the mm, um, mm. You but the hey, hey, where's can you hit the, the uh, hit the heater, man? And, like, mm, put mm, it on, I guess, like nineteen or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, man, man, but the uh, man. why what you laughing at, man? The uh, the yeah, fixed part. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Shoot. Yeah, yeah, they amazing. got they they hooked her up while they because yeah. they they uh, when the twins came out like the same time and everything. That was probably the that was probably the the, the one that did it too. It was like two at the yeah, same time. Yeah, but that's the thing. The first because yeah. what happened, man, was like three months in. She was like, "Hey, I gotta tell you something." I'm like. I don't mm. like that shit, man. Like you know, that tell like you it, like, yeah, no, this is not mine. You gotta have a better way yeah, of wording stuff like, like, like that. Like, like, like yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gotta, like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, uh, I knew it was something with the kids, and that straight up said I was like twins. She was like, "How do you know?" I'm like, "I mean, I know you ain't lose them because your belt, you know." Yeah, yeah. And then she, right. you know, we got we already got four before. Well, mm. no, but my bad, three. So this is supposed to be number four, mm. and she wanted the even numbers. Mm. I'm like, well, I'm sorry, man. It's you on five. We just gonna yeah, five yeah. is it? Five yeah. it is, man. We're gonna be all right. Woo. But um, the, the, you know, it's cool, man, because I, I'm 39, she's 39, mm-hmm. and um, and when we when we're, we're done, I'm honestly, man, from from the military, college, mm. and I pretty much got all my you know my my fuck boyery out of my system, man. Like I mean, I'm. I've I had a lot of fun, man. So I'm like mm-hmm. I'm not even tempted or whatever. I'm cool mm-hmm. with her as long as she stays cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm just busy here, and she knows I'm like, dude. If I'm not at home, I'm here mm-hmm. doing account. I'm, this is me. This yeah, I don't yeah. got no For no sure. staff, no nothing, man. Mm-hmm. So I built all this myself and set everything up, and yeah. um. So I'm doing. I'm I'm in a shop 
16 hours a day, man. That's my average work day. Yeah. Uh, to keep it going. And, and also, like I say, going, getting back to, you know, I, I got to place a lot of dudes back. You know, majors come here, eat old sixes. And I'm like, that, that shit is, that's at the gate, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You come here, sure. yeah. I'm, I got a DD4 and 214. Mm-hmm, I ain't saluting mm-hmm, you. Mm-hmm, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, and then I got to, I got to put, like, because honestly, what it is, and, and some guys watching, I mean, if you take this the wrong way, it's on you. But a lot of white guys and people that aren't black, when they deal with most black people, they're not used to dealing with mm. straight up, you know, articulate, mm. like, uh, mm. you know, not um, mm. want to be gangster black dudes mm. and everything. And then they're not used to that. So when they used to do a black guy telling, hey, man, you're going to I need you to arrive here in 13, blah, blah, blah. And this is for appointment stuff. Not today, man. No, yeah, That's no, what I was telling Wiz, man. Yeah. We, ain't, we ain't on the military schedule. Right, but right, right, right. I was like, hey, man, yeah. I, I need you to be here between 10 and there, 10 and this because I got a yeah. appointment at 12. Yeah. And they're like, oh, well, I'll come about. I'm like, nah, it's no about. It's, 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 you can come at 1035 to, to 11 mm-hmm. or we have to wait till the next day or whatever. So. Yeah. That directness, man, it's like, yeah. And then I get it gets back to me yeah. that I'm aggressive. Well, you running a business, yeah. I mean, you gotta, you got, you know, you, they're not yeah. the only. But if it's a white dude, if it's a white yeah, dude right. doing that, it's mm-hmm. like, oh, he's man, he's on, he's you know, he's he's firm and this and that. But a black dude is always fucking aggressive, man. Like, I, That's and, interesting. I and I don't want to get onto the yeah the Black not. History Month and everything. Nah, yeah, it's coming no, up I a mean, couple yeah. months, a couple days from now. <laughs> but the um, but no, nah, it is what it is, man. And I I I I, I kind of can look right in their eyes and see them like. You ain't never met a black person before, or you never met a black person that's like, you yeah. know, what I mean, got their shit together. Which mm-hmm. there's a lot of dudes here, mm-hmm. so I'm like, I'm mm-hmm. not, I'm kind of confused, mm-hmm. you know, what I mean, yeah, how they haven't, you know, what you I mean? know, it's, oh man, I, and and again, <laughs> like can, I don't want to, we can go all over, bro. yeah, I can be like, I'll be uh, off on a tangent, right, we can go, we can do it, we can all do right, it, yeah, yeah, because like yeah. a lot of that, a lot of that, and a lot of people that know me personally, like on a on a on a work level and yeah. on a on a like deep friendship level. They know, like, I talk shit on yeah, the media it's all, all good, the time. Man. And it's like, and when I say <laughs> the media, yeah. right, I'm talking, like, media as a whole. Like, the stuff we consume, mm. not just, like, news or whatnot. Like, you know, our music, our movies, yeah. our stories, our, 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 you know, video games, maybe even. Like, yeah. the images and, and, and moods and, and, and personalities that make up the characters that we consume and watch and 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 kind of pattern after sometimes without even knowing it Mm. it it all connects so it's like when when somebody meets you and you look a certain way yeah they've already got this oh yeah this this palette (laughs) of of things that they've eaten media wise already in, in their system and they have this image of like how you're supposed to act or what you're supposed to be like and yeah. what interacting with you is going to be like and um a lot of things just to i guess keep it full circle or keep it all uh relative man it's like a lot of the reason why i do the stuff i'm doing and it's not just the the grits um uh you, you're talking about music and stuff right I and I definitely, I definitely peeped oh, the yeah. dancing, man. Oh, bro, I, I definitely peeped that. That's where yeah. I got started out here um, in Misawa. Just you know, like Mad Chocolate mm. is the <laughs> the stage name because I got picked up by the reggae community. Uh, okay, uh, one of the reggae dancers uh, out here at the time. Um, she was, uh, she was, uh, I guess she was kind of big, like uh, for for this area and. Um, I used to hang out with her because, you know, like I got here, man. I was 19. I was young. I was like, yo, new country, new area. I don't know nothing about these people, but I know these women looking good, though. <laughs> so everybody right here, that's Dave right here on the. Yeah. Uh, where so, you, where, where you in a parking garage? Yeah, that's a parking garage. Where? Uh, shucks. Where was that at? So I was trying. I was like, are you Cusco, somewhere in Tokyo, Tokyo? Somewhere in Tokyo. Rapungi? So, nah, not Rapungi. Okay. But it was, uh, yeah, it was somewhere in Tokyo. Um, so this, uh, so like, because I mean, what, 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 What's what what's the style you got right here, man? So, man, all honestly, it's freestyle. But it's a combination of like, you know, where I've been at. So that little kick I'm doing right there, mm. that has origins from back home, Memphis, Tennessee. So it's like before I left home, um, around fifteen or so, I really got into juking. So mm. Memphis has got its own dance style, juking, and it's about it's it's going on like fifty, sixty years old now, probably now. Um, people been joking for a minute, man, and it's just yeah, and it, it blew up and it, it went like worldwide uh, uh, some years ago. So it's like, but like any movement that I make, it's 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 all 
a mixture of like where I've been at. So back home, and then of course I was dancing to a dance hall kind of revision of mm-hmm. another track, and uh, so you know a little bit of those reggae movements, you know, a little bit of that like that sauce with the with the the body roll. Yeah, because I was watching yeah, it. Like, yeah, like yeah. almost you had almost like a uh, yeah. like a salsa merengue type yeah, like yeah, yeah. The shuffle. Because I'm, I'm not I'm not a dancer, but I oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I like footwork. It's yeah. weird because I, I fight. Mm-hmm. And like the thing, like I'm not sure if you follow UFC, but uh, Israel yeah. Adesanya mm-hmm. is—he just lost a belt, but he's a um. Are you familiar with what mm. UFC at you all? Know? Uh, a little bit, but so I, I don't. He I don't just follow well, the guy he just lost, yeah. and he was a um. Be, he he actually before he got into fighting, he was mm-hmm. a dancer, mm-hmm. and he that that dancing like people like how the fuck is dancing me the. His footwork is yeah. so fucking yeah yeah footwork and, and he's, he did b boy stuff managing like, your body yeah. weight and, you yeah know. And that's what he gets he, yeah. he's pretty much been undefeated until a couple weeks ago he lost to a guy pretty devastatingly mm. uh, but during the loss uh, one of his legs was messed up and he actually got uh, he got knocked down yeah instead of like standing up because the guy was coming he actually did a uh, like a back roll and this was like some b it was a b boy move. Mm. And he mm. did a b boy move in mm. the middle of a fight, mm. like you're like you're fighting for your life. Yeah, and he's thinking of dance move. And he's like, yeah, it, yeah. it, it got him out of it. Yeah, too. He, if he, dude, it's like crazy. And people like the the his style is uh, he's a tall, linky, six four, mm-hmm. long arms, long legs. So he got the the reach, and yeah. also he's a dancer. So it's yeah. like you it's, yeah. you're combining all this stuff, man. And yeah. it's so again, I, man, I, I don't know, man. I, mm. I think I I say I can't dance. It's just I never like. Wow. I think every because I mean I yeah. when I do martial arts and sports, mm-hmm. some, my foot movement and coordination yeah, is yeah, yeah. it's no problem. So on the mad chocolate side of things, man, my my whole because uh, people was like, oh, are you are you gonna teach one day? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm uh, thinking dude. I will. I think I don't will. Grits and teaching, yo, grits, grits and dancing, and, grits and dancing. <laughs> yo, we ain't even we ain't even talk about the stories yet. And I'm gonna get yeah. on. I'm oh, gonna yeah, get yeah, on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get on that later because I, I saw some things on you that I I, I was kind of interested in kind of yeah. getting some uh, picking your brain about. No but, doubt. Uh, but uh, yeah, my philosophy for when I eventually do start teaching dance at or some point, it's like even with people that just kind of met me in the in the thick of it, man, like out there at events or at clubs or whatnot. Um, if if they if they connect with me at that point and they're like, oh, how you do that move, or or oh, I can't dance. If you if you mess around and tell me you can't dance yeah. when we're out and I, about I, doing I, that. I think it's more like I would, yeah. I would, I would on, on air, like yeah, yeah, yeah. with the humility, I think it's more so Mm-mm. a lot of people are, um, so like in a certain situations, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. like, so what, yeah, what, what, it, what it is, yeah. what it was. I remember the day I remember mm-hmm. this. I remember this vividly. Like we were at my cousin's house and everything. And it was a bunch of girls over there. Puberty, yeah, yeah. puberty is kicking off and oh, you want to yeah. impress girls. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. um, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what, what it was, man. Mm-hmm. Like I try to do like the, like the, uh, MC Hammer Running Man or something like Ooh. that, and I, I messed that up, and then like oh. all the girls laughing at me, and the dudes are like, and I think from that day, oh. yeah, oh yeah, that day was like things like that. I'm we'll, just gonna we'll play sports and knock motherfuckers yeah. up, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So it was like, yeah. it's like, <laughs> but yeah, I, yeah, I've, I've 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 had some burnout situations myself, man. Yeah, uh, but my whole thing is like, yeah, yeah. So it's like people were like, oh, I can't dance. I'm like, nah, I think everybody can dance. I think everybody yeah. has it because everybody moves their body. Um, yeah. And and when they feel a certain way, um, it's it's a it's a tool, a, a communication tool, like you know, uh, spiritual whatever. Like you know, you have a like dance battles aren't like I used to love doing dance battles because mm-hmm. it was never like an aggression thing. It was never like a like uh, I was like, oh, I'm gonna top you at this and I'm gonna beat you at that. And you know, it was always like, okay, let's talk. Yeah, you want to battle. So in my mind, like I, I take that as like, okay, you want to rap for a little bit. You wanna, you wanna, you know, our 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 spirits get to mingle for a sec. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I think everybody can dance. That's gonna be my uh, that's gonna be like my mission statement for dance like, dance oh, teaching. You, you know what I'm yeah. Do, son? Oh, you know, you know, you know, what are you doing? That, that, no, no, what's that? That dude, <laughs> the dude we had a da- he had a dance battle with the dude way before Power Rangers. Oh, real talk. Yeah, it was like goodness. A, uh, what is it? What is it? Zach Zach dance battle. Mm. The, uh, it was like it was like back in the eighties, like the the, oh, the, the, shucks, the PBS man. stuff, like you know, settle oh, settle your stuff with dancing and stuff. Wow, like oh, he had a commercial. Kind of. no, it was like a you know yeah. one of those little, little PSA guys. joints. 
Yeah. Like a dude took his girl or something like that, and it, it was like, uh, yeah. yo, here it goes, son. <laughs> a lot of y'all probably never seen it. This was this is way because the one thing people don't realize how old this dude is. Yeah, man. he's he, a young. Yeah. he's a young. So this is this is like that, you know that that eighties the eighties. Uh, mm. Yeah, man. So uh, <laughs> you never seen this? I don't think I've seen this. <laughs> Dude was probably like early twenties here, but he looks so young. The dude's yeah, like fifties right? and he still looks young. Yeah, man. They say what they say, oh, black don't crack. Yeah, son. <laughs> yeah, son. This 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 is like that dude. If you, dude, like that. This is like that prime time, son. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Hit him with that. <laughs> you gonna let him do that, son? You gonna let him do that? <laughs> he just he He's just like, slid oh, up man. under you, dog. <laughs> Can't take that. This is Black line, Ranger, man. y'all. Yeah, man. Yo, he, he said, he said, it's, yo, it's morphin' time. I'm about to. Son, got, <laughs> got that there mo- it is. Got that first motif music sound effects on there. The back flip. Yeah. The up uh, front flip. <laughs> Excuse me. You see, like, what, what year was this? I, I can't remember what year this shit was, man. But yeah, man, this is like, this is that, this is that. You got, you got the juice. You got <laughs> yeah. You know what? Respect, yeah, dude. Yeah. That's like some I mean, of me, I probably, I probably blew, I probably blew a lot of people's mind with that right there, man. Yo, so man. shit, actually, the whole time we were talking, it wasn't even planned on there. So anyway, guys, we we already watched it and everything mm-hmm, in the background. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that was uh, that was my guy Zach. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. here you go. You can just look on the uh, the guys watching. We was, you, you yeah, heard yeah. it. But we mm-hmm, mm-hmm, this was Zach right here doing a, ba- a dance battle. Mm-hmm. Let, it, let it roll in the background, and everything. But yeah, sure. but yeah, but yeah, man, like the um, mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. like. Same thing with him. The reason I bring it up because mm-hmm. dancing and fighting, like he actually fights. Yeah, and people don't think that the Power Ranger shit. All oh, those, yeah. I think, and rest in peace to, to the Green Ranger. Mm-hmm. But yes, all yes. those dudes, of um, course. they all they were all fight. Like they all actually fight. They weren't like you know choreographed. They actually fight. Some more than others. I think out of all the Power Rangers, Bla- uh, Zach and then the Green Ranger, White Ranger, Tommy, yeah, yeah. Tommy. Um, uh, they were like the actual like fight like oh yeah you know, actual really, yeah they really were real fight. with yeah, it they real were real with, with it, it. And yeah. everybody else kind of like they were real good choreographed and then right right you, had, you know the red ranger went and did porn and then Billy was gay and all this other stuff <laughs> like this so oh, man. then the yellow ranger hey. passed away and, yeah, yeah and all that stuff man but then like it's weird because the you know then I kind of had pink ranger for a little bit when I first first kicked off here mm. that's why the pink developed and oh, then I I dropped that because I didn't yeah. want to. I didn't want to like have you know Viacom hit me up like hey man yeah like what you doing yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, like just in case uh, it blew up and everything but I just that's or and have it, a yeah train, uh, was it train no what was her name which one oh the pink one I forget uh, Kimberly Kim Kimberly yeah, yeah Kimberly, Kimberly is, yeah. pop up like hey yeah uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So so no, I might hit her up man hit her like, yeah, Marissa Joe Hart whatever <laughs> it is. But, but yeah man it's like that shit man it's, mm-hmm. it's um yeah dude it's like so yeah it, it's it, like. On a tangent, man. Like far yeah, as that, yeah. like yeah, I wouldn't say I can't. It's just I think it's just yeah, never yeah, no, really no, applied yeah. myself. Then I got good at so much other stuff. Yeah. But then again, when you when you look at martial arts and stuff mm-hmm. and the jujitsu is like, you you gotta have coordination and yeah. do certain things yeah. and move your body. And yeah. um, I'm 200. And I'm, I'm a heavyweight, but I um, mm. I don't know what it is, man. But yeah. like I, I move like the guy like a 170 pounder. Mm-mm-mm. So like certain movements and certain things and movements yeah. of the control of the body. Yeah. Where I think is normal. Like I oh, yeah. move my leg this way or yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, do a hitch stand or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like no, nah, that's everybody yeah. can't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, so yeah, helping people find that coordination is definitely yeah. I think where I would like start off with students if I had students, right? Because everybody's body's gonna move differently, yeah. and, and like just finding out how your body does it. I, I know I talked to Wiz about this before. Mm. Um, I couldn't really dance that well, uh, and as see how I word that, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't really dance that well um, when I was say I, I started really getting into it and wanted to get better um, when I was like twelve years old. Mm. Cause like in, in middle school we started doing a, like they call them sock hops, you know the school mm. dances, that type of stuff. Um, around that time, and I was like, yeah, I want to go. That sounds fun. And I'm in there, and you know, kids are you know picking up what they get from the music videos and all this other stuff. Um, and oh, me, God. I'm just kind of like, ah, uh, what do I do here? Yeah. You know, two left feet looking ass. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. and um, 
after a while, I was like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta sharpen this up a little bit. So I was like, I was telling Wiz, was like a lot of like, you might catch it when I'm moving, um, because it still happens to this day sometimes. A lot of my movements are results of me throwing myself back on balance. Like mm -hmm. I, I, I get off balance, but instead of falling over. I'll move my body in a way where I regain some footing somehow or gotcha. something like that. And it just turns into like a move now. Re it is, actually, you did you bring up, you put it real quick. Yeah. About the, uh, getting this rich from other stuff, man. Like, what do you, cause I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't really, mm -hmm. I don't fuck like, it's weird, man. I make music. Mm -hmm. I've been in the music, like, you know, since my uncle was a DJ and everything. Yeah. But it's like for me and it's nothing, and now I know what you know. You go to the cookout, yeah, yeah, and yeah. your parents playing OJs, and yeah, yeah. and it's because that like that time frame was like when honestly, then you had no bills, mm -hmm. and like, people say like you know the nineties was fun. It's like this because you ain't had no fucking responsibilities, right? That's why I feel yeah, fun. Yeah. Like now you're an adult, you gotta go. You gotta do a good. Put kids to sleep yeah. at ten o'clock at night, shit. And, Keep them fed. Yeah, <laughs> so it's Keep like your bills paid. Yeah, you know. so it's like um, I think too now. So when I when I look back on music for me, it's like that. uh you know that mid to late '90s when I you know, became like coherent in the music and everything in that area. So pretty much for me, like 2001. Yeah. To, I'm, me personally, just me. I'm speaking for me. 2002, 2003, maybe five. That's kind of when it started tailoring off. Like I mean, to the point where honestly, yeah. last time I downloaded legal music was like 2000, like six. Mm. Yeah, it's just I don't even have it. You know, as much as it's out there, the streaming and stuff. Yeah, for sure. I have no, I have no desire, honestly, with a lot of the new stuff. Wiz mm -hmm. put me onto a lot of stuff mm -hmm. with his mm -hmm. mixtapes. I was like, all right, it's actually cool, man. Like I didn't know, I didn't know who uh, Ty Dolla Sign was until I heard Wiz. I, Yo, I mean, he's and he's and he's been around for a Ty. while at by yeah. that point when I got Wiz CD yeah. and everything. So um, trying to set something off for the ladies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ty, Ty got something for you. <laughs> I, we, we think, well, re, we, I think my yeah. my my just jumping off the another yeah, the yeah. tangent. Like Ty, I think his he he's like one of those art Ty, Kendrick, and a couple other guy J Cole, mm -hmm, who I got a, mm -hmm. a J Cole some buy from Stink Team stole one of my beats and that's a whole whole oh, different deal. But man. those 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 handful of dudes are the only mm -hmm. artists I think today that that can go back in the '90s and survive and thrive. Oh yeah, for sure. Like he got Ty got that kind of Keith Sweat type, mm -hmm, you know, voice yeah. and vibe yeah, and everything, yeah, yeah. man. And, yeah. and there's a few artists that so mm -hmm. honestly the. It might sound shitty, but the only artists I really listen to, or mm. you know, what I mean, keep up with, is the guys who I think today who can su who can survive. They're timeless. Yeah, timeless. Because like, I mean, saying, yeah. you know, what I mean, the shit now is like, you know, what I mean, yeah, you know, it's it's kind of it's mm. too like it's yeah. too it's too it's too pinpointy where right, I can right, pull right. up some woo and Nas. And you go, I mean, it was three six. I had yeah. a dude the other day, like, hey man, what's it? It's like, dude, that's twenty one year old beat. Yeah, right. That's a twenty one year old beat, yeah. and he he never heard it in his life. That's funny. And uh, so I, I I do that a lot, and I have mm -hmm. some dudes ride with me and everything, but you know, on the yeah. tangent and that stuff. But what I was going, yeah. what I was going to ask you, is uh, from the from the, the dances today, which are like you know very faddish, not yeah, really meant to sure. stick around. Yeah, for sure. Do you think like the kids are pulling from this? Or are they looking back on YouTube, looking at old b boy stuff, stuff like that? Oh man, it's it's hard to say because the 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 just the the frequency at which people are putting that stuff out there, mm. and then like the image behind. Oh man, I'm I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this dance move, and it's viral right now. Right. And I'm gonna get views, and people right. gonna look at me because this is what hot right now. Um. And even with cats that are kind of like professional with the dancing, mm. like I, I notice like a slide towards that kind of like that format where like they're doing the videos. They're not like the kind of TikTok-y trend right, right, kind of right. thing, but like the way they're shot and the angles at which they do their stuff. Yeah. And, and it's just like a lot of just straight on look directly at me and, and, and yeah. you know, the kind of like crop down, like barely enough room outside of yeah. where I'm at. And like they're doing their moves, like it's it's kind of hard to say. It's a big blend of 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 I'm sure people going back and 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 trying to get good at uh, moves that they find interesting. Um, but right now there is a lot, of, especially with the young people. There's a lot of people probably looking at that like, oh, you know, yeah, I'm trying to be a viral sensation for a moment. Yeah, you know? yeah that's 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 the yeah yeah. That's mm -hmm. a, that's definitely a deal right there, man. That's one I, one thing I well, I had my my boy Alexa on all the time from California, yeah. and like we we try not to like sound like because he's he's in his forties, so you don't want to yeah, say his yeah. exact age. Um, I'm 39, and we kind of like every once in a while we get, we have that 
that that old dude like kind of like yeah, look no. like you know it's, yeah, you know, I, I we, know what you mean, yeah. it's like i don't want to be that guy but yeah. i mean this is the point it's like a lot of you we got a lot of young cats it's like now mm. like people said man when people like oh what do you want to mm. be like they're straight up saying i want to be an influencer right or yeah. i want to be this and it's yeah. like they that youtube is now youtube twitch mm. all this stuff i mean dudes are making millions of dollars off of yeah. you know so it's like but they don't realize there was a there was a, a little slithering time and if you didn't jump on it because yeah. I was on YouTube since 2006 mm, mm, but mm. that first like five years it was just like up, no thumbnails it right, was just like yeah, yeah. there was no yeah. there was no monetization so mm, you weren't really mm, trying to entice yeah, people sure. to watch now I got thumbnails I do this mm. but I, I just honestly I got I just missed that boat, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's not my grind, too. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I use it for what I use it for. And some right. guys just get stuck on it, hung up. And they don't, Um, they just, you. I, when I, the young guys, cool, whatever, man. They, yeah, they grew sure. up in it. But the, sure. when I see a, a 50-year-old, yeah, trying to, trying to I'm like, bro, yeah, like, yeah. I gotta unfollow you now, man. Mm-hmm. And you're my boy. Yeah, because right. you, you you're trying too hard, man. Yeah, like it ain't. Nah. And, you, and I know you're funnier than this in person. Yeah. But this online shit, you're you're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's uh, and even with, I don't I don't think I get a lot of views on the dance side, but it's not even like with that. Mm. Uh, just like, cause I, I don't I don't want to compromise the 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 flow at which I put stuff out. Right. Like the vibe you get. Like I had somebody. Uh, so it's like I I got a friend who's really in the art. Mm. She's major right. major talented. Uh, I'm talking film directing, music okay. production. Uh, she's an artist. She sings, she, animation. But so she she got to me one day and she was like, "Yo, I, I think I can see a way to 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 move on these uh on on this TikTok thing and right. kind of you know use it to you know get more views on my stuff and, and increase my popularity." Mm-hmm. And she's like, "I think you can do the same thing, and you should probably hit it from this angle and blah blah blah." And I was just like. I I understood what you're saying. I right, 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 right. And it was like I I ultimately I hopped in on it, but I didn't hit it with that that intensity because I was just like eh, TikTok the vibe that I'm you right, know right. Uh, it's a lot of energy on on those type of platforms right now that I don't really want to yeah. absorb. You know, hundred percent, man. And it's like back to the whole like you know people want to be influencers. It's it's interesting the word right? the word the word yeah the word, the word is like you want to influence, just, I, you influence I, and inspire yeah i was just about right to say that i was just about to say that man like, yeah you know you want to inspire something new something creative right like you an inf- influencer influence. like you know yeah, influencer is like you know when yeah. you look at that word man it's, and it's just take it how you want to take it. i mean i speak freely oh, no, but influencer is yeah. i mean a malcolm x even uh, though like i say yeah. I'm, and i'm just saying you know uh you know just just speaking and with like that yeah. he influenced like a, he influenced yeah. a mass of people to change their mindset and everything do you look at like you know Mahatma G- uh, and, and Gandhi and yeah. they, they're 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 confusing their word yeah. and um yeah yeah it's one of those it's a word that's now mm-hmm. has a new meaning like influence if you say influencer back in 1990 you mm-hmm. talking about Tom Cruise or somebody mm-hmm. or some shit like that because mm-hmm. he's a and they, you know how they would use the movie actors to say go on vote and do shit like that because uh, yeah, at the time yeah. they were the people. Now, I mean, dude, movie. I mean, with the with these YouTubers and mm-hmm. TikTok stars mm-hmm. is like now they're the they're the that's the people that people was giving twenty k to to hold their yeah. their shirt or yeah, wear their yeah, shirt yeah. or wear. And that's that's honestly in my business, the, the, the dude that just left has some jackets that I yeah. I was like I got them custom made mm-hmm. uh, and I wore one last year. Maybe honestly, maybe two to five people asked about them, and yeah. they never asked again. And it's like, dude, I'm not gonna spend a bunch of money making a, bu- a bunch of shirts when there's no there's no Kanye or whatever thirst for my product. Yeah, that's that's yeah, that's, yeah. that's that's those shirt the shirt that, the shirts I gave you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just start giving them away because honestly, I got about five hundred shirts or mm. or something like that. And then nobody wanted buying them. Like, dude, they, I just like literally started. If a customer paid more than forty bucks, I would yeah. give them a shirt. Right. And that's how I got rid of them and everything. Mm-hmm. And and even still, the ones I gave out, not saying you guys got to, but I ain't seen nobody like rocking it or whatever. Because mm-hmm. it's like who's Panko style outside of the automotive industry. Right, People right, don't know sure. it in the branding. So it's like, hey man, I'm not gonna force no, my yeah, image no, down no, your no. throat. This is just my company, my logo. Mm-hmm. And I'm a rocket and yeah. everything. So I'm out and about. Like I mean, I'm I'm. This is this is my uniform every day. Mm-hmm. I got yeah. about six of these, and I 
I mean, and it's cheap on clothes because I ain't got to, you know what I mean, try to impress nobody and shit. Yeah, no, yeah. My wife kind of don't like when I wear them to, you know, to certain places, but, yeah. you know what I mean? I got, but I got it. This is my work set. I got, I got a, I got a, a, a set for the town that's all yeah, pink yeah. and not dirty and shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But um, that was one of the, and I was, speaking on that, man, she was, how was, because uh, I want to ask you, man, like yeah. being a black dude in Japan, yeah. what, what have you experienced as far as people assuming you should know something or do something because you're black have you ever had any experiences like that in 12 years um i it's it's a it's all over the place yeah. with, with that type of stuff and it's kind of hard to pin down when it happens because i'm of the mindset yeah, yeah, yeah. where it's just like cool okay kind of like what we were saying earlier it's like you know the media that they've consumed right. over time leads them to like they have this taste in their in their in their mind and their mental about how i'm supposed to be right right when they see me and it's it's one of those things where it's like you know you meet me and then you you get a feel for who i am as a person and how i move right versus you know what i look like and what you already kind of thought that i was going to oh, be man. Um, but there there are certain situations like if I could recall off the top of my head, it was something recently where um and this wasn't like from a Japanese cat, it's kinda surprising to me. It was a this was like a military cat, mm. young dude. Um I I was leaving the uh I was leaving a, a convenience store out here. Mm. I had just used like ATM or something and they had the trash can in an awkward area. At the door because they you get a lot of traffic and people right. trying to throw stuff away, so they just placed it somewhere where right you gotta look for the it. Americans can get to it and it's not you know clogging up situations mm-hmm. traffic movement. So like they put it in an awkward place. I didn't want the receipt, and I guess like I was looking around for it, and then when I found, I was like, oh okay, this is what's going on. I bought it up and I threw it away, and I just kept it moving. And there was a cat that happened to be out there. Like, we were kind of, I guess, going through the door at the same time. He was a little bit ahead of me or whatever. I don't know. He he looked back at me, and he was like, oh, well, did you just lift something? And I was like, and before I could react, he was like, no, it's cool. I'm down. And I was like, oh, no, man. I, I, just, threw, I just threw something away. And I, I, I had to level with him at that moment where I was just like, yeah, no, man, I don't, you know. Yeah. Like. He's like, he's like, no, I'm down. I'm, I'm from the, air, you know, I'm from the, you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and I was just like, no, no, man. Like, I, don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't do stuff like that. I haven't, right. done, I haven't done stuff like that in years. In right. fact, like the first time I ever stole something, it was like I was young and fresh to the point where I didn't know what stealing was. Right. I was like four years old. Yeah. And uh, so that's mine. And my uh, my grandmother had a, a a basket, a basket that was weaved in the shape of a duck. Mm. And I fucking loved that thing. And I was like, uh, I like playing with it and all that stuff. And I just, one day I was over at her house. And I'm like, I'm over at her house all the time. I'm going to just take this duck home with me because I <laughs> like it so much. And then I think my father, he found me playing with it in the back of the car one day. And he was like, where'd you get that from? Yeah. And I was like, oh, grandma's house. And he was like, oh, she gave that to you? And I was like, no. He took me out of the car and... Yeah. He gave it to me right yeah, then yeah, and there, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. a little, a little sharp, little whooping real quick. He was yeah. like, "We're gonna take this back to your grandmother as soon as possible. Yeah. You're gonna let her know what you did." And then from that point, that's you know, I learned about what stealing was and how like it just, it's not right. If something doesn't belong to you, you yeah. shouldn't have it unless they give it to you or you purchase it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. My yeah. dad. Was, he was not playing around yeah, with man. that man. Thievery was not going to be tolerated in the house, man. Yeah. And I and I and I feel him on that, you know. And but it was just funny how that guy's reaction. He saw like he didn't know what I was doing. I told him, you know, after the fact. I mean, I was just throwing his paper away. But I had to catch him in that moment because I was like, I don't want you to think that. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not not you assuming that I was going to do this, right? Because that doesn't matter to me. But at the same time, like. You taking it to a level where it's, it's like, like oh, he, no, he, it's I like he, like you. he's like your like, like your is, moral like yeah. he's like uh, yeah he oh, this dude yeah, did yeah. it I'm cool yeah or whatever right. yeah, and yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like no 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 I'm not gonna be I'm not going to be the example of that or 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 someone that condones right. that energy right so like yeah no so um 
but situations like that situations where like and even on the flip side like i've had like japanese people like i don't know like one night i was out somewhere and uh and you know I, i'm not gonna jump into the whole like you know yes. black and white thing of course but it's like with me i just i read things i try to read things a little different like moving forward back on that that, that media piece and how like the the energy that we put out just you know diversify the flavors a bit with mm. it um I was like, I don't have Japanese cats. I'm like, oh, you know, all this, this stupid fucking white person this or blah 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 blah. And I'm just like, they're 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 leveling with me and having this this exchange yeah, with yeah, me, like, feeling like I'm right, gonna right, be right, like, right, yeah, right. yeah, fucking yeah, yeah, the no, no, they don't no. know what's going on. And I was like, there's a lot of people that you know, you know they rub you the wrong way, of course. And then you know, depending on what they shade is, you know, it yeah. is what it is. But at the same time, um, I was like, nah. Nah, like right, 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 you right. can you can have an exchange with me. You can you can vent. I'm cool with that, right? But don't assume that right. I just have this feeling for all yeah those people. Like when you see me, because it's like you know, because you, you've seen in the media that we're yeah, at odds said, with each 100%, other. Hundred percent. That's that, so pretty much like, yeah. the, you nailed it, man. With the yeah. media thing, is like they <laughs> they paint it as um, you know, they paint it as like. For the, if you look at the media only, mm-hmm. you would assume that's only two races mm-hmm. in the world, especially when it comes right? to Americans, black and white, mm-hmm. and, and everything. that shit fucks you up even at yeah. home. I didn't know. Like, I feel, I feel bad. Uh, yeah. If you out there, homie, uh, Basilio, <laughs> <laughs> this memory, man, it still, it still haunts me, man. But it's, it's one of those things where it's like I've learned from it, I've grown from it. But mm. like I remember, there was this cat named Basilio, man. Mm. And he joined the Navy too at, at some point, and and he's I don't know where he's at somewhere now, but mm. probably not. You gonna see his shit. But if he does, man, awesome. Um, I remember like being in math class with him, and like I was like cool with him, and I said some off the wall disrespectful ass shit to him, man. One day, man, I was out in class. And I was like, hey, man, you and I, we could be, like, good team, bro. Like, team up. Jackie Chan, Chris Tucker type shit. <laughs> and he looked at me, and he's like, bro, not fucking Chinese, bro. I'm Filipino, Filipino and Korean. I was about to say Filipino, <laughs> Filipino, Filipino and Korean. Yeah, 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 and I'm yeah. like, and when he said that to me, my brain didn't register what the fuck he was talking about because Filipino. Mm. What's the f- yeah, 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 and then Korean, yeah, yeah. and then like when he put them together, I was just like, what the, f- what, he he Asian though, like, yeah, I know he Asian though, but what, what was the shit he was talking about, yeah, and it was just like a whole like <laughs> yeah. I joined the navy and I met a whole bunch of people from all around the world and it's just yeah. like man, and I I, was, my bad, why yeah. you telling that story? I was about to, I was about to jump when they say Filipino because yeah. it's like Filipino is like they that's like the navy thing, yeah, man. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what it is, man. I got all my Filipino Navy cats out there. You know who you are. Yeah. With the, uh, yeah, man. But I was like, man, he's going to see Filipino or something. Sure enough. Yeah. <laughs> Korean. And that is, so that's like, so in the, in the shit like that, man, it's like in your mind, it's like, because yeah. I, because I've seen so many jokes about the Navy and Filipinos and you had like all the chiefs and petty officers and yeah. it's like a whole Filipino, like. The memes are yeah, hilarious. They, they are hilarious. They got the little, and, 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 and then <laughs> one thing they, do, and, yeah. uh, one thing I avoid, avoid it because I've been invited to certain you know, it, yeah, we're 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 it's like we're the minority in right. a minority here in Japan. You know, minority's sure, been a sure. gaijin for sure. And then of that, so I've seen a lot of I've seen the uh, the Masawa got too many fucking groups. You got the you got the Dominican the D- Dominican group. You got I'm talking about as far as yeah. Facebook oh, groups. Yeah, yeah. You oh, got the yeah. Caribbean group. You got the the Filipino group. It's like everybody's and I I, I, know, I understand mm. it, 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 from a comfort aspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're trying to you know. But then it, 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 on, a, on a flip side, yeah. one thing I haven't seen is like a white white national, you know, yeah, Masao group. Because if there was one, it would be reported. Yeah, and people would come out of there. So it's like, a, so it, on the flip side, I got, and, and, and people mm-hmm. who watch my stuff, I mean, I'm not going to, oh, full no, yeah, disclosure, yeah. it's like, they don't, I mean, I got, this is a 150-something podcast, so you can go back and get my ideas on it. But it, it's, um, and I got I got friends from all races. Oh, yeah. All sure, races. Sure. I've, I've banged chicks of all races. You know beautiful. what I'm saying? So it beautiful. don't matter. It's all beautiful. You know what I mean? It all feels the same. It does. You know I mean? mm. So G Wiz out there for the people with yeah. It's like, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I've been in Germany, Iraq, all that shit, man. But, yeah, for sure. but the uh 
Yeah, man. The only thing that's different is hygiene. You know what I mean? Hygiene is the only thing that changed the game. You know what I mean? That's the, that's it. That's the only thing. That's the only game changer between mm-hmm. all women. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, but it's it's uh it, a lot of a lot of people on that man. They kind of yeah. They see certain things, hear certain things, and everything. And one thing I like, I like being an ambiguity here in yeah. Masala, man. Is like they don't when they see me, they don't know what like the yeah, dude's like yeah, yeah. a fucking linebacker with a mohawk, and he wears he wears pink. Yeah, it's like. What the fuck is he gay? Is he is he this that and the other? And it's like, <laughs> like, yeah. like and people when people yeah. ask when I go to the to the shop at mm. why the mohawk I'm like because I can straight when I that's my answer yeah because I get asked so often like because I can and then oh cool man and they that answer because I'm like I'm not explaining yeah for sure like oh man well I wanted to change I did a few people I'm like man fuck I wanted to change it up when I got in the military because I didn't want people to know they they knew I wasn't military with right. this. Yeah, yeah, I was sure. a contractor or whatever. I wasn't active duty mm-hmm, with a mohawk. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what you knew. I'm not active duty. And then I had to, you know, the facial Same hair. <laughs> but then it's like now I see the military active duty yeah. cats for fucking I'm like bro, what the it, fuck, it bro? It fucked me up. I'm like man. lining it up and everything. I I didn't understand <laughs> when it when it yeah. when it when it had that sharp yeah. change up, yeah. man. I think it, it was, was around like instant 2016, bro. They did not waste any time. Yeah. They did not waste any yeah. time. <laughs> it was yo, man. And I saw all manner of things, man. I saw I saw cats wearing. I don't know if he was prior Navy, Air Force, prior Air Force. Yeah. So I was I was prior Navy. Yeah, yeah. I saw cats. So we got you know. They call it the NSU, the Navy Service Uniform. So it's kind of right. like your admin setup, like uh, you're behind a desk, front desk kind of. What color? What color? Uh, for the enlisted guys up into the chief level, it's it's normally a khaki top, okay. with black. Black, you got you. Or you know, or you guys got way too many fucking uniforms, man. <laughs> Don't we? Yeah, yeah, that is, it's it's crazy. Yeah. But so anyway, um. As soon as soon as they dropped the 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 whole thing is like oh you know loosening uh, the regs on on certain things and, and it, my that. bad it was right that mm-hmm. was actually right at the coattails of don't ask don't tell like yeah, that whole that man, whole yeah, yeah, yeah. and then then yeah. the trans for like two Cause years it, cause yeah it, cause it, yeah it's <laughs> funny that you mentioned yeah. cause the story I'm about to bring up yeah as soon as they dropped it man I saw this cat walking around. In the female version of the uniform, wow. it's just like, bro, they need, bro, they, bro. There was no, there was <laughs> not, no like, training. Like, not, not yet. yet. He's not like, yet. He's like, like, <laughs> like they. they look- he probably had the fucking rags in his back pocket. Yeah, no, nah, man, actually, like, yeah, right, right here, yeah. <laughs> ready to whip it out of his skirt pocket. Just, just, you know, wow. with on. Like, he was not playing. Wow. He was not waiting around. And then, like, I had cats come up to me, like, like after I had gotten out. Right. Um. And they, they would see me on the street and they're like, hey, man, where you been at? Are you, are you still out here? Yeah. And he's like, oh, what, you know, what ship you on now? I'm like, ship. ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, Like, no. I, they weren't this long at the point. Like, it was kind of like, uh, it was a lot shorter. And it was like, but I was starting to twist it and, and right. you know, grow them out. Right? The, the, the little sponge, you know, the sponge. Man. Yeah. But, um, so, I'm rocking that and I'm like, bro, you, you not see the hair? Yeah. Like, my face? I'm all out of whack. You're like, no, like this, this, I'm not yeah. in, bro. And they're like, oh no, we got a brother like that in uh, yeah, yeah, in yeah. radio. I was <laughs> yeah. like, you better, yeah. not. you better go get him straight. <laughs> yeah. You can't have him yeah. walking around looking like that, man. Like, we we yeah. hold ourselves to a standard, don't we? Yeah, like, nah, no, that's no, just no, totally like I see the I went on base man. and I see the chicks. Uh, the one I seen this one 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 black chick, man. She had her mm. she had her shit done up in a fucking hat, just sitting on top of it like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, what the fuck is you wearing a cover for, dude? Oh, like the hat, like the shit's just the like wind will blow that. Yeah, off. it's like the the bun is fucking up like that. I'm like, bro, like they got way. It's like I'm glad I got out. I got out 2012. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And um, me too. I got out after my third deployment in Iraq. It was like I seen it. I seen mm-hmm. the um, the I writing on the wall. I seen it like of, yeah. yeah. It started to shift. And I was like, bit. man, I was doing a racy stuff, and yeah. I was, I mean, doing this full time while I was mm-hmm. in. And one of my cheap men, I kind of rewind back for me man mm-hmm. my first my first day uh, at Andrews Air Force Base when I got there from Baltimore I didn't pick it I just got and it was a blessing in disguise because I met I Much drove like this place for me yeah I drove all the generals and everything and that's how I got orders to Masala by the mm-hmm. pack of commander um, so I did three and four stars vice admirals and all I drove all of them back and uh, nice, nice. all around so case in point man is is about who you know sadly that's, mm-hmm. the, that's how the world works um, and everything yeah. I mean honestly man I, I, I mean I've I seen your stuff but by way of ways, I mean oh, yeah, connections yeah. are connections, man, of and course, people don't realize. I mean, definitely, yeah. I'm glad to meet you and stuff. But Mm-mm-mm. the um, yeah, man, the 
lot, man, this is this, this weird, man. A lot of the stuff here, mm-hmm. like Imasawa, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's um, yeah, man. It's I try, I try. Well, I wouldn't say I'm trying to say. I try to be like non-biased about like how life in of Japan course, and stuff course, in Imasawa yeah, yeah, yeah. and dealing with different people. Right, but right, right. at the same time, man, you can't. Um, I mean, I, I wasn't raised like a. I was raised in Bal- East Baltimore. I yeah, had yeah. like, hey, don't do this, do that. Right, right. You know, right, hold the door, course. blah blah. Yeah, speak yeah, when yeah. you're spoken to. Yeah, yeah. And when you get here, you try to like, kind of, I guess, forget some of that stuff. Mm. But then it's like you kind of revert back to what you, yeah. you know. Of case in point, man, how people try to yeah. respond to me in emails yeah, yeah, yeah. or try to, hey man, I'm gonna come here. Like, no, you're not gonna come yeah, here. Like, yeah, yeah, you just, right. I'm just not gonna allow you to do that. You're right, not gonna. Right. Where I'm from is called. I'm not gonna allow you to bitch me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, and that's right, what a lot right, of cats right, here right. do. And I'm like, yeah. I shut it down. And then in Japan, like, I mean, mm. I, I kind of, you know, they, they're going to embrace this. They're trying to milk this COVID shit for the next 10 years, Bruh. man. So I purposely, Bruh. unless there's somebody outside the front door or unless I'm, I mean, like I was just at my, my kid's mm-hmm. daycare mm-hmm. because there's 30, 40 of us in the room. All right, I'll put it on, man. You know what I'm saying, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I go to home ec. I go to I don't yeah. I don't put on the mask, dude. Unless there's somebody at the door, the AK yeah. loaded. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? So telling me put the mask on. Yeah. I don't wear it, and then they, I go in there and I'm looking at people shit, like, yeah, not nah. straight up. I look yeah. at their, I look at their eyes. He's like, yeah. they ain't got to say shit. He's yeah. like, he, he ain't got his mask on. Like, yeah, I yeah, don't. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't. yeah, yeah. No, Wiz know me, man. <laughs> yeah, I can have that. I can have that scenario. Yeah, and the mother go to AK, and I just we probably just be staring. <laughs> We'd be staring at <laughs> each other for a little bit. He's like, yeah, I can take that shit like, apart. I was like, you you want to. Yeah. Uh, but, like, it's kind of. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, man. Uh, no, no, I feel you on that, man. Yeah. I, oh, bro, I could go. Fuck, oh, man. I could like, go to town yeah, on that man. shit. Yeah, man. I just. I, I just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah people, yeah. like, they don't understand. Like, well, if you understand, you understand. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the people that are kind of wrapped up in that right now, they don't understand. Mm. Or either they're. Either they're Lacking the understanding, or they're just deciding to go with the status quo because it keeps them like right safe in right. their own mind. As far as not safe, like safe from being sick, just safe from from conflict. That spiritual right. conflict, pretty with much other people, pretty hundred percent. Like, oh, what is this person thinking about me at this time? Because I'm not doing a certain thing yeah. that everybody else is doing. It's 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 crazy, man. It's like yeah, like I I I I push it to the fucking. Limit. Like, uh, <laughs> like you see me because oh, like airport transaction, right? Yeah. Airport transactions are you know interesting at the moment. Oh um, yeah, with, with all this shit going on, like you said, they trying to milk this shit for for. Because it's like my thing, my thing yeah. with it is like when August October mm-hmm. 11th, which was like the fourth fifth pushback. Yeah, yeah. When sure. it's supposed to open up, because they yeah. need the money, they lost all their money yeah, for Olympics, right. tons of money, mm-hmm. probably billions of dollars they lost. Yep. They're not going to recoup that, so it's like they like, hey man, we need this tour. We don't like gaijins, you know, on the grant. But we need, yeah, we, we need the money. But we need that money, though. Yeah. And I, yeah. like, one thing I like about Japan is I've been there 15 years. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing where, honestly, is uh, a maturation of the mm-hmm. older people dying off. Mm-hmm. They got the same problems we got in America where you got 80-year-olds in the fucking Senate. It's like, bro, yeah. your ideas are back from the 30s. Yeah, dog. Your, your yeah, ideas are old. Dog. Like, you're, you're fucking yeah. a couple years moved from Edward yeah. and shit, like samurais and shit, right. which I like. I like. I like. That's my mm-hmm. thing, samurais. Rising, but like we need to yeah it's they, either a mix of that or like you in somebody <laughs> you in somebody else's pocket like yeah. you're reading somebody else's script kind of sort of yeah like, you know what i'm saying they they're, they're, they need you're bought and paid for right essentially we need they, they got it they, they definitely got to do that and they yeah. got to um and uh now because it's like i mean honestly my my views are switched because mm-hmm. i don't really the Mer- stuff in america honestly yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I don't really because i'm not there i'm not yeah, i'm, no, I'm here so now you. i'm like i'm getting so now when my wife brings up things i'm like bro like I, I mean, I got the shots, man. Cause she honestly just to shut her up. Oh, I yeah. personally didn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, and I still got I got two shots, mm-hmm. and it was well over. And I still mm-hmm. got COVID. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, finally after four years, I got burnt with, yeah. with COVID, and that's called a burnt like I'm STD uh, and shit. Yeah. The, <laughs> Damn, son. yeah. But yeah. the um, yeah, man, they milking it and everything. But I, yeah. for me, when I we go out, mm-hmm. I will I do I do just so I think I go back to the car. I will put it in my yeah. back pocket. But yeah. unless somebody is running up to me like, hey. Go yeah. on the side. He got yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah. and nobody's they. They don't. Yeah, no. Because nobody's they don't ever, like the conflict either. They never did. They don't like the conflict. Nobody's either, ever right? fucking told you know me saying? to put on a mask at yeah. home. Act. Like at the airport, they 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 yeah, have yeah, to yeah, because yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I tell you, man, I'll be up there. I did a whole transaction with a lady. Like, and what, the way I do it out here, right? And and for people that don't live out here, yeah. Um, 
it's the culture is is different but you like you start to notice uh the way people move and interact with each other and you start to see that like when we are in a situation out here when mm. we when we mix and mingle i think one of the things that they find most um appealing is like the energy and and the the level of of social interaction right, that right, we right. bring to the table right so like Whereas if two Japanese people were to meet, they would, you know, get the the bow, yeah, and, you know, all that yeah. other stuff. And like, they might not talk to each other right off the bat. But it's a systematic, yeah. like, uh, they, they, they've they been, like, I think we're, we're more, yeah. we're more, like, dynamic mm-hmm. in, in the aspect yes. of, like, yes, you'll find, yes. on average, yes, yes. most Americans are more dynamic. Yes. And not only, like, um, that, the case in point, man, like, mm-hmm. uh, you, you serve the grits in, in, in mm-hmm. Rapungi, Tokyo, whatever. Mm-hmm. They eat your grits, right? And they're like, mm-hmm. oh, this is shit. This is the best shit ever. Mm-hmm. And then they don't know. What they don't know mm-hmm. is they're they're also being served by a dude who's really fucking good at dancing. Mm-hmm. And if you started dance right there, their fucking heads would explode. Yeah, yeah Like, it was just yeah. like, they, how can you be that good at that? <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. also be good at that. And then mm-hmm. also be good at two other two more things. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I think that's where in Japanese, I, I get into it with my, because yeah. I'm in an industry where, for example, my shop here, mm-hmm. I work on I work on all sports cars, yeah. Honda, Mazda, Toyota, and I'm good at all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all the same. Nuts and bolts, they, they're, mm-hmm. they're just shaped different, mm-hmm. but they're the same process, same procedures. And mm-hmm. then in Japan, the way the shops work yeah. is they specialize in only Honda, only Toyota, mm-hmm. only a particular mm-hmm. engine. Mm-hmm. And they their mindset is like, you got to do this for 30 years or you can't, you know what I mean? You can't. They can't fathom how you can master one engine and master another engine. Right, right. Their mindset, and I, mm-hmm. I get annoyed by it. My wife, she don't understand. Mm-hmm. And some Japanese customers, when they when they say, oh, they'll say, oh, you do Skylines. I'm like, Skylines and Toyotas and mm-hmm. Supers and everything mm-hmm. else. Mm-hmm. And they just like, oh, go, man, I don't, I want to go to only a... Specialized. Johnny. Man, right? And I tell yeah. them, yeah. like, as soon as they say that, Johnny, like, I... I Abruptly, because yeah. my time is my time is I yeah. get my time to who I want to give it to. Right. Yeah. Um. And I'm like, hey man, I ain't got. They they want to come here and fucking look at a car and suck through their teeth, the, mm-hmm. uh, get a thousand mm-hmm. gallons of air and shit. I'm like, dude, mm-hmm. you want it or you don't, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's don't, I don't it's need the yeah hundred. You've been here. You've been here long enough. Yeah. You know what it is, like, bro. <sighs> fuck you, eating ramen in here, like fucking air ramen and shit, man. It's like, yeah. it's oh, like, that man. Yeah. Oh, that. Wait, <laughs> or that shit when they tell you to the think about it. Think about it means no. They just right. they don't want to yeah. tell you no they, to your face. Yeah, I told yeah. you no. I yeah. Go on the side. I don't need it. Mm-hmm. I don't want to pay Shaco sure. Jimon for that shit. But the um, <laughs> yeah. the uh, yeah man, it's cultural things and and mm-hmm. then they'll to them man like if they see stuff like that, you could be the greatest guy ever. Yeah. But just because like I mean, and it's not. I, I don't feel like I mean. Yeah, yeah. I don't feel like I'm pushing back trying to fight the power and shit like yeah, that. No, like it's no, the eighties, no. but it's like. I'm just not, I'm yeah. just not gonna I don't I think it's suggestive yeah and again unless the motherfuckers at the door with, with an right, AK right. and a yeah, 50 yeah, cal yeah. loaded is like this is suggestive you should wear it yeah, yeah I'm in the fucking home ec in a tool section yeah large ceilings yeah and I'm not like fucking right on somebody's like, back like yeah you know, like just just be like Use some common sense yeah. about it. Common sense about it. That's yeah, all. Obviously, like somebody's coughing thing, and shit. Like, don't right? walk near. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but like, that was the thing yeah. before. Before this yeah. kicked off, because they had they've been selling these masks. Like, it didn't blown up, bro. But you know, out here was like the first time that I seen people walking around looking like Sub Zero. Yeah, just on a normal day. Now I come to find out some of that is like women just not trying to because I'm like, oh, I didn't have makeup on yeah. today, so I'm gonna cover up. That that threw me for a loop. I was like, yeah. "Girl, if you don't just embrace your natural, you yeah. know, beauty real quick." I definitely, like, I definitely that? knew guys yeah. who I, I had Japanese coworkers who mm-hmm. would um, they just this is I mean, oh, oh, no one like this mm-hmm. one guy, Harita son. He just like he just I don't mm-hmm. know what it was, man. I think maybe he's a germaphobe, but he every day, man. I, this is back in 08. Yeah, he did, every day mask had on. One on, not sick. He just mm-hmm. he just mask on. Interesting. Yeah. Always a mask mm-hmm. on. So like now. With this shit going on now, I think what it is is people who weren't comfortable. Mm-hmm. Now it's a reason for them. It's like they, yeah, it's like yeah, a veil, man. Like yeah, you can't, or you got a mascot suit yeah. on. And again, you look at a mascot dancing. Yeah, right. Maybe if you take the mascot uniform off, are they gonna dance that hard? Are they gonna? Yeah, right. Because they they're they, they exposed got this persona on. They right. got this mask. Right. 
Yeah, yeah, man. You know what so saying? it's like, and me probably motherfuckers, yeah. he's a fucking three motherfucker. Like, I don't, mm. I ain't talk about mass. This is the first time I talk about it in oh, the podcast. Good, yeah. But it, but it, my yeah. thing is, my thing is, yeah. there, it, it, it this, the whole Corona thing fits into their, yeah. their agenda and their, their society. Yeah, them it, not wanting gaijin in because yeah, they, yeah. I, I love Japanese. I love my wife. Mm-hmm. I love all the Japanese girls that bang. But the. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like dude, they 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 plan they're like milking this shit. And I told yeah. my wife today. I'm like, yeah. bro, it's I'm, like a, it's like a security blanket. I don't want to talk about it. I'm like, bro, stuff, yeah, stop no. talking about it with me. Yeah, right. Like yeah. I'm not yeah, like yeah. I don't care who got what at you know, Oh, when I'm, they watch the news. Yeah, oh, bro. Yeah. And, 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 like, and oh, the numbers. This, this celebrity got <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, yeah. damn. Dude, when it with what that the, the, the comedian dude, um <laughs> the one the, the very first person that passed away in uh, yeah. the um uh now that part, uh, yeah, yeah, Shimura, yeah. Shimura, yeah. Shimura Shimura or I don't remember. It was the, the old uh, old yeah. guy with the glasses. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like, dude, I was like, funny. Yeah, I was right. like, I was sitting behind. I was like, fuck. Yeah, right. Now she's gonna yeah. be like, see, we gotta do this. And oh, no. sure enough, man, mm, when he passed away, that's that. Like, uh, and then I think when it kicked mm. off in America, they mm. mentioned that I guess Tom Hanks had had it. Yeah, like, who the f- like? So now because yeah. a fucking celebrity gets it, now it validates oh, it's it. Like, ah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, this must yeah. be a real thing. Cause yeah, man. And then people are gonna say got sick. Yeah. So this is like bro, like they're gonna I am pretty sure a lot of these deaths weren't um and I'm glad we talked about it like towards hey, the hey, end hey. of the thing because yeah, like if you sure, put that in sure. the first ten minutes of your video, yeah, no, the flag yeah, and no, shit. Yeah, for sure. We yeah. we way way past that oh, point. Yeah, but the um that, yeah. they uh they just using ejectors and stuff like that and their thing mm-hmm. is just like um again they their whole again I love living here but yeah. I'm not Japanese. Right. And that's one yeah. and I I Honestly, I kind of and yeah, yeah. To they, kind of go back to what I was, yeah. yeah, like that's the things like we're not we interact with them differently yeah. because of where we come from and how we move. And I think like when when we talk about just the like not wearing a mask thing, what right. I do is like I I put that because. They benefit from how we interact with them, the right. energy that we give off. They like it. They need it. Oh yeah, because confidence. They, they lack right a little bit of that. Right, right? and it's kind of it's it's warming for them to have those interactions with us. So when I'm not, you know, conforming to whatever is the program like, is oh, at shit. the moment, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I make it a point to make sure that I am exuding the energy that they need. Right. Right. So when I'm dealing with them, I'm smiling, I'm right. talking, I'm, I'm using as much, you know, Japanese as I can to make them feel comfortable with my presence and, they get something from it mm. and it gets to the point where they're like, I don't want to tell him to put the mask on yeah. because I like his smile or I don't want to tell him to do it because it would break the flow of 100%. things at the moment. 100%. And I, I use that to my advantage when I, when I, when I interact with people, because not only is it like, cause I don't like doing it and mm. I don't agree with it and a lot of stuff going on right now. But at the same time, I know that, what I'm doing is needed mm. and they need it. And I'm hoping that over time they'll get to a point where you like, you know, I want to help people in this way too. Maybe right. I won't put it on. Maybe I'll, you know, do my best to show people my smile, get that energy going. Yeah, and, yeah dude, and, that, that's one yeah. thing too, man. Cause you, it's like, mm. I'm, I'm, you know, that's one, again, love my wife, yeah, but yeah. I'm still a man. Yeah. For sure. And like, it's, you can see like, uh, mm-hmm. It's weird how I mean it's weird how it works, but like the the I think the one thing you know the it kind of works in the Muslim community when they when they wear yeah. the, they wear the yeah, things yeah. and you can see you can see like uh, so how the fuck you see somebody's beauty between just right the here eyes, yeah. and it's like you know I'm a mm-hmm. I'm an eye for the women and shit the eye stuff mm-hmm, and it's like mm-hmm. you can see I'm like bro you can see that but then I also I've mm-hmm. seen actually man I was coming from Atlanta where it's mm-hmm. my bad man it was this chick on their street. She she definitely was a Atlanta Atlanta mm-hmm. resident, mm-hmm, and man, mm-hmm. that whole plane ride like all I could see was that mm-hmm. when she took that fucking mask off, man, her teeth was really fucked up. Ooh damn! <laughs> it's like, Ooh. and dude, she she had the legs, and I was sitting right next yeah. to her. I didn't I didn't really I didn't she she mm-hmm. I, she was she initiated first on the small talk, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and it was this, and she was reading a book reading a business book. Then she got a phone call, and she mm-hmm. was like, "Hey, you do this." I'm like, "She's a boss." Whatever I could yeah, tell right. by the way. Yeah, right. She's mm-hmm. and then she's reading a business book, economics or something mm-hmm. like. She ain't, you know, she ain't no. So, you mm-hmm. know, she's. I could tell she had her own money in a in a yeah, bank. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But yeah, man, she took she took that mask. I was like, damn, man, she she was. Yeah. It was not good, right? It, it was, mm, but the the know. eyes and the body and the mm, and the hips mm. and everything else. I'm like, mm, fuck, mm, man. Mm, I probably mm, could look past, but her teeth was really fucked up, yo, man. man. Yeah. 
But yeah, so it's it like that bad. shit's hiding shit. Yeah. Girls ain't you know ain't as confident yeah. and everything. And then like you security blanket, man. Yeah, you go on a date yeah. with a chick, have some ugly kids, mm-hmm. and because all because of a mask, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm sure. saying? But the yeah. show. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, man, I thought we yeah. was good, and then who? And mm-hmm. then one thing I'm pretty sure, man, I ain't, I never, yeah. I ain't even seen your, I ain't seen your daughter, man, but I'm pretty sure she's beautiful. Oh, she the thing is, is yeah. I don't, I, I haven't never seen yeah. a, I've never seen a. Mm. Oh, it's weird. I have seen some generic, generic looking, yeah, yeah, half sure. breeds. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. You like oh, they, oh, yeah. they, 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 I know where you coming from. Yeah, the, that. the yeah. chick is not like really. Yeah. Like my wife got features, and my my three year old daughter. Mm-hmm. I'm mm-hmm. like fuck, man. I'm at to fuck somebody up in 15 years, man. Because oh, yeah, you know what I mean. She, no, she, yeah, no, yeah. I'm definitely, bro. I'm training right now. I yeah. just started taking martial arts. Because like, uh, I'm thinking about these clown, like, the clowns bro. here that's gonna come up in 2030, bro. whatever. Yeah. She already, she's three and already yeah, forming. My wife got yeah. a nice ass. Mm-hmm. So I'm telling her it's not fat. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, it's cool. Mm-hmm. Just leave it alone. Don't try to like sh- mm-hmm. get rid of it and everything. Yeah. I like, like. Right, yeah. Something to hold on to is of cool, course, man. of course. Yeah, and, uh, you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, you gotta have the <laughs> handles. Like, yeah, they, so they, they, they say love handles, nah, like the hip is not a handle. Man. You got a whole handle, you got handles everywhere. Yeah, she's you know solid, man. You she's know. solid because I had to, I had to yeah. reassure her, man, because she mm-hmm. it was the whole you know, recouping after pregnancy thing. I'm like, all right, cool, I'll give yeah. you the five, six months and whatever, but mm-hmm. after that, man, I need some me time mm-hmm. too. Yeah, so then. I'm like, you know, even when she was like kind of pudgy, I'm like, you know, it's cool, man. It's yeah, not yeah. like, oh yeah, I let the Miz know, man. Yeah, man, she look good. When, yeah, man, yeah, and yeah. She yeah, started yeah. stressing about anything. I'm like, nah, you good. Yeah, you cool. You good. I'm I told like, you. Yo. I'm like, sh- yeah. I like, I like, I like squeezing on a little something. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know Straight up, man. Straight you know up. I think we're in the same boat, man. With oh, that. for sure. Yeah. But yeah, when, uh, <laughs> you t- the <laughs> <laughs> well, way isn't it on skinny chicks, man? Yo, like, yeah. man. Yeah, it's like you like you want to see like their yo, their pelvis and yo, shit, man. Like their yo, hip bone. Yo. Like I've had one of those too, man. Like yo, man. I almost cut my fucking arm on her. Like like her yo. her little socket was like. Damn. I'm like you can see like a. Mm-mm. Like there's literally no meat there. I'm like man, this is not cool, man. It's like I can literally scratch her skin. And like mm. scratch the bone and shit. That's not. Mm, it's like I nah, man. Know, man nah. But, but it's some grits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Hundred <laughs> some grits. Hundred percent going. Stay there is, girl. Get full circle, going. man. Get Definitely, man. Going, man. But yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. Because uh, like my daughter and I, I, I can bring up some pictures like after the fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I, I don't post. Right, I'm right. Posting because it's like I don't, I don't like this, this running like progression of you know I, things are getting crazy now. AI is getting sharper. Yeah. And you know, facial recognition and all this other craziness. Like I, I hit a friend of mine up. I was telling him I was like, "Yo, this ad looks like you, mm. but it's a, it's a Japanese ad, and this girl from Memphis." Yeah. And like, I, and we've always like, we used to date like back in the day. You know, shout out, homie. Mm. Uh, but um, um, I'm looking at this ad, Japanese ad for like a music or some some crazy on YouTube, like you know, fucking advertisement, right, right, you know. And I was like, yo, I screenshot this shit and sent it to him. I was like, yo, this look like you. But it's like, you ain't been out here or like nothing like that. And she's like, that's creepy. Yeah. And it wasn't her, right? But at the same time, like this, this the way yeah, they can. I mean, that whole deep fake Yo, deep fake is, thing? Is, is wild. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, just I'm having the foresight to be like, you know, I don't want this running, yeah. like natural evolution progression of like my daughter from this stage. Well, that, that's the whole, to, well, yeah. speaking of that, that's mm-hmm, the, that was, because mm-hmm. I don't, it's not on my phone at all. The, oh, yeah, uh, the yeah. TikTok joint. Oh, so the whole TikTok, show. when that, that, uh, was it, no, no, was it, uh, was it TikTok or the, mm-hmm. uh, what was the other one? The one that I guess, is it mm-hmm. TikTok China or yeah, yeah so yeah TikTok yeah TikTok yeah. so that was that's why I was banned like it's yeah. funny they made this shit and they banned their own people from using yes, it because they're yeah. like we don't need you and we, I was like we already we already got your information we don't red, need your we shit talk about red flags yeah we need <laughs> other people's shit so you the TikTok thing was like a mm-hmm. um, and all those uh, that one joint that came out that yeah. like one, it was like popping to people start the whole mm-hmm. um uh the age thing yeah where you start for like yeah. two, you see 20, people, uh, what, no no I'm thinking. I was like 20, 23 and E is another one though. Yeah, you trying you trying to find your origins. And yeah, all, so where you, where your blood is. Yeah, and so all like stuff. all that yeah, shit, man, was it. like they they were like you know they were yeah. gathering that like you were like all right yeah, here's yeah, my shit. Yeah, so I mean right. for my only reason I I don't I don't you know I mm-hmm. told when I was like man all right, we got a kid I'm not gonna and honestly I don't my wife kind of do, mm-hmm. does it yeah, and she yeah. she is she post shit from three months ago. Yeah right. So I'm like it's kind of weird whatever yeah, do yeah. your thing but I don't um. My kids ride dirt bikes now, so I mean, I post them, but they're normally right, in their helmets. Right. Yeah, but I don't do like you say, like a yeah. every week, because you literally can sit there and mm-hmm. you can literally like 
Yeah. Like people, it's, it's you got to be careful. Yeah, you got to be careful with it. But it's yeah. like I can tell, like now, like just looking at her, like. Um, yeah. Like, yeah, you can see. I don't want to sound cliche. No, no, no. You can, you can, yeah. see, you can see it. You can man. see it. Yeah. See There's it. There's one picture I have of her, and I was like, "This is like so far. This is like one of my favorite pictures of her because like I can see like the growth potential. Like she's a little, she's three, right? right? Same, but same the, as my girl. The mine. look, yeah. The angle in the yeah. picture. I was like, I could see you at thirty. And, and then like, she got the wavy like hair, curly hair. Super, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful look. It's like it's, at the genetics, man. It's like it's it's weird yeah. because we all. We all like the when you mix with the Japanese, it's like the, it's kind of like a mm. the Naomi the Naomi mm-hmm. chicken and then like they kind of mm-hmm. got that. And I'm like, my, my mom was um my 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 daughter actually mm-hmm. her hair looks like the chick from um Atlanta the show yeah the uh, and she's ha- she's German and something nah, yeah yeah, yeah. And I'm like dude I, when I went to Germany bro mm-hmm. that was mind blowing mm-hmm. that was like. The, because it's all it's this, it's this Filipino German, mm, black German, mm, mm, white German. Mm, I'm like mm, Spice mm, Girls and shit mm, out here. The blends are beautiful. I, and know. I do. I was in Germany yeah. for four hours when we got released from base, yeah. and I already banged a German chick in the first two hours. So I'm like, well, it's eight o'clock. I'm good for the rest of the night. Everybody else is trying to get it in. Like, I it, was, had a it, was eight, okay. it was eight. It was eight. It was eight o'clock, and I didn't ask for it. I paid. Yeah, for, no, look, yeah, 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 I no. paid for the lap dance, and then yeah, next yeah. day, she. I'm like, okay, cool. All right, well, here I'm not it stopping is. it. Yeah, I'm single. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, man, Germany. When I mm. the Ger- when I was in Germany, uh, Germany, man, Mm-mm. I was just. But dude was like, hey, man, when we get out there, bro, you're gonna see. Mm-hmm. You're gonna see black chicks with blue eyes, green, real green. I'm like the mixtures. Of people and lot, honestly, a lot of those chicks too. No lovely. dads, dads knock them yeah. up left, but oh, they go down to K Town yeah. and meet up with the military. They trying to get a mil- they trying to get a ticket. Yeah, out of yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? All so, right. but yeah, Something so stable. yeah, my my yeah. thing is like you know what I mean. I'm going to be here in Masawa because there's mm-hmm. business here and everything, mm-hmm. and I, I like it here. But the mm-hmm. uh, I'm like man, I'm already thinking about yeah. I'm already thinking about my them. I'm not gonna say they can't go out there because I got the yeah, yeah, I sure. got three girls and I got two boys. I'm like, well, I could send them out there to, to handle business. Right. For I sure. shouldn't have to go out there and do anything. Right. Right. They, they train in jujitsu and everything, but yeah. it's like I don't want to be in that situation because I mean yeah. I was respectful. Yeah. To, I I never I never and I can say this with honestly I never like. I never forced a chick against her will. Oh yeah, no. I never. Not about that um, life. I never hit. I never mm-hmm. like I because I grew up in a kind of my, my mm-hmm. stepdad kind of slapped my mom around, mm-hmm. and I, I either two ways to go: you repeat it or you despise it, and right. I despised it. Yeah, and yeah. when I got to like seventeen, I started growing, and then that stopped. That shit stopped because oh, I yeah. see figured, man, this oh, dude's yeah. got a little. He's big enough to now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Stop this shit. But um, yeah, man, it's like you know, I'm like I'm just hoping the dudes down there, you know what I mean? They're gonna. It's, we're humans. Right. They're gonna do what they do. Right. I did what I did. I mean, I, I lost my virginity at like sixteen, which is late from where I'm from. Shoes. But sixteen, I was like, but it was it was consensual. We hooked yeah. school. We went yeah. home, did our thing yeah. or whatever, a couple of times, and, and that man. was it. But the um, it's like, you know, I mean, I'm just like, man, if I don't want to be in a situation where I, I'm here. And I get a call from her crying. I'm like, well, who the fuck I got to fuck up now? Right, and right. some young A1C, right. somebody else's kid right? who just didn't adhere to probably what his dad told him. Hey, man, yeah. if she's saying no, then chill. Yeah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it was like now, and, I, and it's like now I got to figure out how I want to handle it because it's like I'm not going to just be like, oh, next time don't do that. Don't stick your fingers in. Yeah, like, no. I, you know what I mean? Like, right. fuck, bro. Yeah, it's That's like, the shit yeah. I'm thinking about. Yeah, because like yeah, naturally, you yeah. know, the the first thing you think that you want to do is roll up and yeah, but then you <laughs> take a motherfucker out. Yeah, then but then, then it's like you lose your shit. Yeah, and, you think about the the consequences yeah. of that and doing that and just well, oh, Lex, yeah. well, I would say Lex, but uh, the Wiz was here for yeah. the Mokateki bro. The uh, <sighs> that was my that was my my training partners, man, and that that was prov- that was provoked, man. Like the dude, uh, one of the jujitsu uh, guys who I it's weird. Yeah. Active duty, but his things was he actually went to jail for um ah, shucks. uh yeah like uh underage dude was like you know of age and like he just had a thing for sixteen year olds and uh yeah so he was showing you know sending out the pictures and shit and damn, WhatsApp and damn, all that stuff and damn, but damn, then he did it to damn. the wrong people mm-hmm. and it, the, we did we, these people fight and train every day mm-hmm. and they 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 hunted him down pretty much and um fucked him up. Well, they didn't. They 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 got he got away one time. Yeah. And then when he got his uh, when he got uh, convicted for for the because it was the uh, he got multiple occasions where he was sending like you know mm-hmm. dick pics to to chicks. Jesus. And one of them was the dude's uh, daughter who trained and she stopped coming to training and yeah. she he thought she just didn't want to train 
and it came out three months later that this dude that they trained with every night was like when they also grappled, he was filling her up. Because that's the thing. I mean, we grapple with women, but you yeah. just grapple. You're trying yeah, to get choked. Yeah, yeah. But when you got a dude that's a fucking pervert, you know what I mean? And then yeah. you're, you, you're part of grappling is you, you, yeah. you don't really like. Yeah, for you, sure. You know what I mean? So the um so that come that comes down they ban him from training, mm-hmm. he gets kicked out and everything. I'm not saying names because I mean it, the course, kid, that's, actually the case is still kind of active. Of course, uh, dad mm-hmm. went in j- uh, was in jail for a year and a half because they uh, this friends at Mokuteki they beat up like five or six dudes, Damn. him and his son, mm-hmm. Steven Seagal type shit. <laughs> These guys train seven days a week. They're bad. They're Son just won a championship last week in this in Florida. They 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 fight. Bad motherfucker. Yeah. So they and then they got to the point where he had to do the you know the kickboxing training because they at one point it got stopped and then the dude slapped the uh, hot wings into the son's eyes. So the uh, the son's fighting blind. Oh, damn. Like kickboxing shit, fighting. I can't see, but I can feel you. Right. They, uh, one dude, um, hyperextended uh, arm, like broken. One guy, two guys. Uh, uh, it's called a hill hook. They uh, mm-hmm. pretty much kneecap pop back to back the other way. Uh, so two guys, um, one guy Jeez. med boarded out for the injury. Yeah, one yeah. guy got kicked off because the the dude's wife was a yeah. major, uh, uh, 06, yeah. and he slapped her. He, uh, uh, E3 slapped so 06. He, gone. he, gone. he was gone. He gone. He gone. And, but then the dad, the, the whole thing, it's, it's actually in Stars and Stripes if you want to read about it. Yeah. So he's suing them because of slander, and it was, it was a whole bunch of shit. And, yeah, and this was all because of, this all came down from a dude who mm-hmm. couldn't, who couldn't find a goddamn 20 year old because there's a bunch of 21 22 year old sting, single lonely ass Bruh. military women on base Bruh. i don't care for them right they, you know what i'm saying right you know what i'm saying it's, it's they're out there it's like you they gotta you, there. yeah you it's, can find a fat oh military chick that sounds like i never understood like, <laughs> like, I, the, the thing I, know, I never <laughs> i never really got it man back back in those times you know when i was out here hunting the streets and shit yeah I just, it was it was it was abundant. Yeah. It was abundant. You ain't gotta well, especially go. Especially here, You ain't gotta man. go like you know looking for kids. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. You know I, don't I mean, I, I don't. I don't. Uh, there's a lot of. Um, as a result of Pornhub, man, there's a lot of crazy, like, you know, yeah, things yeah. I like to try and stuff. Oh, yeah. But it's, sure. but it's like, but yeah, but right, it's like, yeah. you uh, know I what I'm saying? I get you. <laughs> what I'm saying, like, yeah. kids ain't one. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, but no, I'm a real. <laughs> <laughs> on a real note, <laughs> man's over there rolling yeah. on the floor. And shit. Yo, but no, on yeah. a real note, like yeah, it's just to take it back to you know what I was saying, it's like energy that you put right. out, media that you consume, yeah. you know the the interaction between you and another person, and all yeah, these man. vibes, man. You know, like spiritually, I'm really careful about. I, I try to be super careful about the tough the stuff that I consume. That's right. like every now and then, you know, I'm on the hub. You right. know, so there's some situations where it's no, like, it's just education, you know, man. You know, education. It's, it's, it's like, it's, 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 oh yeah, research, baby. Research. Yeah, research, it's research. Yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like, you know, if the missus is tired of, yeah. or you know, got something going on, can't can't get it right now. You know, yeah. Like, no, nah, man, I use, I use, yeah. I use I like yeah. no, like no mm-hmm. shit, man. No shit. This, like, I mean, this is this is like a weird way into it, but yeah, for sure. the uh, but the. Uh, like I was talking, it's, it's weird, man. Like yeah. you say, you talk about Americans with Japanese. We yeah. got the same. We got the yeah. same. One thing I think about is like you know we all got these phones and like yeah. one is like we got Wi Fi. So I'm like talking to my wife. I was like I made a joke which she didn't mm. understand. I was like right now there's Opi floating around in the air, and she was like, "What do you mean?" I was like, "Is I just type it in and it comes on my phone." Yeah. So I'm like right now we we and got ev- everything in the internet is floating around us right now right. in the air. Yeah. And you sure. just you're transponded here. You pick it up, man. Yeah. It's like. 20 years ago we didn't have shit like this and yeah, now right? I don't understand how people are uneducated on mm-hmm. anything yeah for sure like if I want to mm-hmm. learn how to compose a track I look up a bar configuration you know mm-hmm. you got you, know, you got your mm-hmm. standard mm-hmm. you know you're 16 you know well, you're looking going on yeah. music making but it's like you can find out how to make anything you can find out how to cook anything if I want to cook uh, yeah. uh, whatever stuff onion stuff like you know it's, green yeah. peppers I can yeah. go in there and pull it up right now but what I was telling her one night mm-hmm. I was like we was talking about the Masako, mm-hmm. uh, so what the fucking the chick on Japan that, that dude mm-hmm. with the big mm-hmm. chick, Masako. Oh, uh, Masako, 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 Masako. So Moscow, I was like, yeah. they were we were watching something and she was saying something about the it was some scene with some trans dudes or whatever, yeah, 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 and yeah. Uh, then I was like, she was like something something not cool, but I'm like, dude, that that dude is on TV every day. Like, mm-hmm. what is the, what is the classification? 
And then I was like, well, you never seen, <laughs> I was like, mm. you never seen, um, like, uh, you never seen a she-male? Mm. And then she was like, she-male? I was like, I was like, just, just take a seat right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, I bring it up, I bring it up, yeah, I bring it up, man. I bring it up, Pornhub's encyclopedia, bring it up. And, uh, I just sure. And I wasn't like, I was like, not, I was, just, she was just like, messed up, messed like, she was just like, that's a, that's a, I'm like, that's a, that's a dude. That's mm-hmm. a dude that went through, yeah. you know, a bunch of stuff. And I'm yeah. like, and it, I was like, and he was like, is he gay? I'm like, oh, I'm like, I don't, I was trying to explain. I was like, you're not mm-hmm. really gay, but yeah, gay. But I'm like, it's, it's yeah, a dude yeah, and it's, yeah, then it's a dude. Yeah. It's a chick with a dick banging the other chick. And it's like, mm. he's like, I, I was yeah. like, all right, man, let me click off of this. Cause she's getting confused. Yeah. And I'm trying to explain it to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I, and then it, it's like Japanese just don't, they got the same internet mm-hmm. access, but they either do and they, they go far with it or yeah. they just don't it's just not something right they, right it's not in their mind which yeah. is cool i mean yeah yeah for sure yeah. i mean just like the the thing that i kind of dig about <clears throat> this place sometimes is like yeah it still has that like you know they got the forge the fortune natural yeah, the fortune ones you know yeah. like they're not their mind's not gonna go there because for the most part they're still on like they got a limiter we, how we move naturally like, yeah you know what i'm saying um and and with me like you know a lot of the images that i that like i find on there like I'm very limited to how I look right. at my videos and that aspect. Mm. And like, you know, when like a lot of things, I don't know, like it started blowing up recently. Like, where it was like, oh, you know, stepdad. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, that type of stuff. So I was <laughs> yeah. like, Cause you, cause that, you know, Because you know it. Yeah. They're not, you know they're not, but it's like in yeah, your mind, right? like that's, that's yeah. not supposed to happen. Yeah, and you, it's yeah. like I'm reading the titles <laughs> yeah. and I was like, okay, if that type of stuff is in the yeah, title. man out my face with it yeah if it's like oh the naughty school girl i'm like no well, thank you well you did notice that, the you know, and then thinking i don't watch i'm not <laughs> on there all the time man i just yeah it, but did, yeah, i do notice like the um mm-hmm. the uh when the covid was hit when COVID, when covid was like in this when yeah. that when that when, that, when covid was cool for like six months when it was cool when it was like when, when <laughs> yeah. dudes were doing the dj things mm-hmm. and they had the, ver- mm-hmm. the verses came out of covid mm-hmm. and then the mm-hmm. other stuff like they were doing like you know yeah. The DJ like that was the cool. It was like, like that, remix it was like that because yeah. I mean honestly yeah. we all we all like the uh, it, you know I, I, me is like when mm-hmm. that first so, first six seven months of Corona yeah it yeah. was like cool. This is kind of cool because it's a reset mm-hmm. and then I and then like people are like being knocked off of they're mm-hmm. going home and mm-hmm. if they're like they're around their families and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. A lot of entertainment came out during that mm-hmm. point. Mm-hmm. I was here. I mean doing mm-hmm. my thing. It didn't really change for me. But then. Mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, after a year, I'm like, all right, dude, this shit ain't cool no more. Yeah, yeah, no. So no, it was no, like no. the six months was, yeah, but, yeah. and then some people just, they stayed in it. And it's, mm, I'm like, mm, you know, overall kind of circling back, man. Here, mm. I just kind of want to be yeah, uh, done with it. And then like yeah. on, on, a, on a segue to the, you know, the, the porn up stuff, which I kind of joke about a lot, is which con, but the, it's, it's, you know, they had the, the COVID porn, like mask, you went, yeah, you're banging a chick with a mask yeah, or with a hole yeah. in it. Right. It's like, oh my god. It's like, dude. Oh it's god, like, man. yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, dude. I will say that there yeah. was there was one that I was like, I was like, I'm gonna have to favorite <laughs> because it goes back. It goes back to what we were talking about earlier, where it was just like, you know, uh, freaking. Oh fuck it. You know, putting that. It was like, meet the, the, the so it was a Mina Moon joint. Yeah. Uh, Korean chick, and the thing that I liked about it was like. Um, I think she was. I think she was, she like was whiz, hanging out. Where's down there in this laptop? Yeah, now, yeah. Man. It was like <laughs> <laughs> gonna look at a yeah. the moon. <laughs> no, 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 no. But uh, no, I, I forget what the scenario was because they always gotta have like a story of yeah. a background story. I think she was going to clean his place, or he was cleaning her. I think he was like the. Like clean her pool, like oh, the cleaning yeah. service or it's something. The, yeah, clean so, it, clean yeah. is like the number. Yeah, right. We got a yeah, cleaner yeah, yeah. coming Everything, over. Everything. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's this, like, why is this yeah, cleaner yeah, so ripped? Yeah. Why does he, you know, maybe I yeah. should help him clean. You yeah. Know, but, yeah. So he's there doing his job and he's got the mask on and she's just chilling because she's at home. And, um, and she, I think. She he was like oh blah 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 and she's like oh you can take that thing off you don't need it you, you know it doesn't do anything yeah. right and I was like favorite yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's like and it's like it's like it's fucked up like people putting like shit like subliminals in yeah. porn like, like porn yo. is like yeah it's like it's crazy man like, like from that point I was like Mina Mina you you my you my yeah. girl on that one Mina Moon that's crazy know, though you know, man that's if crazy. you ever want some grits one day 
Yeah. <laughs> Shit, man. Gotta get him on get him on get him on OnlyFans, man. Goodness you know, gracious. Yeah. Oh god, that yeah. That's another beast. Yeah, that was entirely. that was that, that another another COVID uh product. Yeah. That kinda right. as as yeah. the world went back to normal kinda faded away. But people yeah. made like I mean the what's that chick um uh the one the catch me outside girl or the oh, but, no. the the uh no, 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 not Catch Me Outside Girl, the other annoying one. Oh, man. I, the, you know those two, you know. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. And she's uh, she was pulling, like, a lot of money, man. That's crazy. Like, a lot of it's, yeah. And, I, I mean, I'm over here fucking working 16 hours a day, sometimes 17 mm. hours a day more. And I'm like, and, and, and human, you know, I don't really, I'm not, you know, Mm-mm-mm. people say you're not supposed to be jealous and stuff like that. Of I was course. Like, like bro, yeah. what the fuck, bro? I'm like, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm here in shoveling snow, Mm-mm. building cars, doing that, and I'm just making enough Mm-mm. to keep the shit spinning. Yeah, for sure. Uh, while I develop other things. And it's yeah. like, man, these motherfuckers out here, these dumb motherfuckers, yeah, just like kind of, you know what I mean? That is like, mm-hmm. it's weird, man. It's yeah. like. It's like um, somebody posted something the other day, mm-hmm. and it makes sense. It was a dude with a uh, it was a dude uh, a violinist. Yeah, uh, he probably seen a meme floating around, and sometimes and they actually I looked it up. It's real, mm. dude. Uh, they had a side by side image. The dude was like a world renowned violinist, mm. and he he just got finished playing like yeah so many halls or whatever. Yeah, same dude goes to the subway and people just walking right by him. And this guy was getting standing ovations from fifteen thousand people, twenty thousand people the night before. Yeah, yeah. But they don't know who he is. Yeah. But you put mm-hmm. any one of the influencers, quote unquote, right there, and they get mobbed. And oh, that's that guy. And it's like, yeah, right. it's like mediocrity is being praised now. And then mm-hmm. like guys who are really about their shit mm-hmm. and doing stuff mm-hmm. is, is is not so much. And kind of yeah. to make it make sense for me, man. Like yeah. you know, what I mean, I'm good at what I do here in my business, yeah, yeah. man. Um, these mm-hmm. I got. I got, you know, mm. millions of dollars worth of cars and stuff out there collectively and people's stuff they trust me with and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And and um, so people don't, I don't get like people saying any negative. It's just like, I'm yeah. in the, I was, talking, I was talking to my wife trying to make, trying to, mm. I, I try to, you know, use situations to help mm-hmm. her and learn. And I was like, um, mm-hmm. it's a neutral, like nobody's praising me. Yeah, for sure. And nobody's also not talking shit. Yeah, for because sure. Because they, they, they've seen me get with people. I'm like, what right. was the deal? Like, if I ain't dealt with you or talked with you, like, there's no reason for you to be talking about me. For sure. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm my own HR department, so I need to figure mm-hmm. out what's the problem. Mm-hmm. Let's sort it and everything. Well, you heard something from this dude, you ain't hear from me, it don't mm-hmm. fucking mean nothing. Mm-hmm. So I had to, I had to step the dudes out here in Masawa mm-hmm. because that, whatever they saying, that's taking money. It, it's happened yeah. before. Yeah. They, I've lost money because somebody assumed something mm-hmm. or they assumed I did mm-hmm. something or didn't do something. Mm-hmm. And, I'm like, nah, son, I got to get with you. Right, We got to go step outside and talk. Yeah, yeah, And nah. then they, they get around like, don't, like, bro, yeah. you know what I mean? It's not trying to be a gangster or hard or whatever. No. Nah. But it's like, you're, I didn't do anything wrong and you're slandering my shit. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to go on Facebook and be like, you know what I mean? Put some dumbass meme up. Yeah, right. people do. I'm going to get with Jeff and, and, and let him know that, hey, man, that, that's not cool. Yeah, no. And then they, they just, I, I mean, I wish I had a camera, man. Oh, no, man, it's not. Yeah, but right. You, yeah. you said it's it. It's always though. the case. You it's said it, the though. Case. And it's not me being, yeah. it's not, I'm just from a little bit, of, a little bit more harder place than you are mm-hmm. being from Wisconsin. Baltimore and Wisconsin are different and we handle shit differently. Mm-hmm. And I think that's one skill set that's cool, us being yeah. from that yeah. area. is like, hey, man, you got to press people on your yeah. shit. Or they're gonna assume, yeah. you know what I mean. So, in my for my business stuff, man, uh, that's pretty much where I'm at. Where mm-hmm. the people who know they know, but mm-hmm. uh, there's Japanese here mm-hmm. that I was really I was friends with like mm-hmm. ten years ago. But now, mm-hmm. you know, what I mean, it got to the point where I'm like, all right, I, after third, I'm like, maybe he's having a bad day. Maybe he's having a bad day. Yeah, 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 but after yeah, the third yeah. time, like, no, nah, you just don't fuck with me no more because I, I'm a American in Japan with a full performance shop, and you're working at like a tire shop. Mm-hmm. And that you can't mm-hmm. stomach that. Yeah, it's like, bro, mm-hmm. that's not my problem, man. Yeah, no, no. it's not my problem. So and I've had to like no shit delete guys, and when I see him, I walk right by him. Yeah, and like we're on that level now. It's mm-hmm. like because I'm I'm not gonna feel bad about mm-hmm. my success. And I'm like, bro, no, no, it's no, a no, grind, no, no, dude. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's just like, and it kind of it kind of touches on like you know when people see me like you know. Like I know for for a while, like you know, I'm developing these recipes, right. and it it almost takes a, a a a seat on the bus of like the whole like 
like why are you doing that right type. so it's like first is why are you doing that you're doing too much it's a little <laughs> extra and then when you take that extra little thing that you happen to be doing and it goes somewhere yeah then it's like oh I'm definitely promoting this shit. Different, you different, you different. different. Like I don't know. So it's like it's kind of like you know, and it's interesting. You you talking about the like the whole mediocrity thing blowing up, and I think that's a part of a thing. Um, Like there's a deeper evil. And it's not in my way. My bad. It's not new. Oh no no it's not new it's at not, all it's, it's just, definitely not new it's, it's at just, all the but like it, the the sources are, yeah. are, are the, have, now, have now, multiplied yeah. right um, like it, it's coming from a lot more places now right. so it, it seems more prevalent than it might actually be but it, it's it's I think there's somewhere in, like because you all this information at our fingertips all right. these abilities Too much to, 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 yeah. to to absorb and, and and grow with we could be the baddest beings on the planet if we could just harness that and and move with it but mm. i think the 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 other edge to it you know the double-edged sword that having all this stuff yeah. readily available is it's it's too easy for it to become a, a time sink and yeah and you know procrastination becomes a thing but uh, like a, f- a friend of mine posted something um uh, recently uh shout out to the homie um uh, dj sarasa um she uh she posted something online where it was just like she had learned from uh from quest love mm-hmm. uh, just like interacting and, and talking and she was like living your life as though you're going to naturally meet the goals that you're setting for yourself you're going to become as big as you want to be not because like you want to be, be become big right but because like it's just a natural progression of things. Right. So it's like when you when you harness that faith in in your movement to the to the point where it's like I'm going to reach these goals, and it's not like they're not like goals like at that point. It's just like me naturally living, being right. evolving, and, and doing the things that I think fulfill me. You're gonna get there, like. A lot of people try to come. It's like, yo, when are you gonna open a restaurant? You should definitely open a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Open a restaurant. Rub, 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 restaurant. And I was just like. Um, I have a plan for for how I want to move with this, and I'm not going to be f- really swayed into opening a spot like like right now. Mm. Like I don't need it. Right. I don't need it. Don't want it right now. Um, and when I open it, it'll be time for it to be a thing when right. it, when it happens. But I think like you know don't you know. It's not time being wasted if you know what you're doing with mm. that time and you know like you're just moving naturally and you're going to get there eventually. Right. It's like there's no need to rush it. And um, when she posted that, it was just like, yo, that spoke to me because like I've been trying to move in that way with with how I'm doing things mm. as well. And it was like speaking of like like making moves and just like I want to be known as like I don't say known as, but. I want to feel comfortable with holding the title of Renaissance man. That has been something that I've wanted ever since I, I was young. I used to play piano mm. growing up from the age of six to 16. Uh, music and art has been like thick in, in, in my upbringing, in my life. Mm. It's been a big, uh, a big part of who I am being an artist and, and just being interested in, in many types of art. And, you know, trying to wrap it all together like you know you you you'll have you'll have brothers doing you know music you'll have brothers doing sports mm-hmm. and you know and that's something you see that a lot you know to the point where it's like almost like when a brother does step out and do something different yeah. different like you know, <laughs> people don't have to really know how to take it but at the same time like it, it, it it's taken well in a lot of cases or in other cases it could be taken like oh you can mm, kind of bougie or you mm. doing something you know you kind of different you kind of extra but like in my mind i was like you know the only way we're gonna shake up media change the you know you know like i said diversify the 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 media that's being consumed and the ideas that people have mm. for people in general but us as well you know based on what we look like and all this other stuff is is if we do do something right. different and in my mind like striving to become a renaissance man so it's like i'm touching different avenues of yeah. art 
and I'm doing it at a at a, it, it, at a high enough level. And it's something, it, something yeah. right with that man, the Renaissance, mm-hmm. like Renaissance man. We brought that up. It was one mm-hmm. of the uh, I didn't know. I, first time I ever heard the word was not the Renaissance man movie, Danny yeah. DeVito, mm-hmm. and he, he was talking to the black cat. Uh, I forgot that dude's actor's name, man. Uh, 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 you, we know, he, yeah, 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 yeah. So he was talking to him and telling him like, "What a Renaissance man!" He had the little school and he had the, you know, mm-hmm. you know, they had the stuff there and everything. And that was actually one of those mo- like military, like there was like a military yeah, joke yeah. movie, but Full Metal Jacket is yeah, all yeah. that. I was a military watching, mm-hmm. so for me it was either um, college or mm-hmm. military. I actually, mm-hmm. I got, I was uh, going to the Marines before I got my scholarship to the University of Maryland. Nice, nice. Got an academic scholarship there, yeah. but. Renaissance, like Renaissance man, that's something like, for example, in Japan with their culture, mm. you wouldn't, it, it wouldn't right. be even like you, you somebody that's going to be extremely well off in multiple categories. Yeah, yeah. And that's just not. Yeah. That's no, we're not gonna, we're they not gonna. Yeah, yeah. We just it's want like, you to be good at one uh, thing. Yeah, right. Or you're just gonna be a laborer or a salary right, man right. that that gets forced to drink and pass mm, out on mm, a train. Mm. We've seen it. Yes. We've seen yes. it, and I those dudes work yeah, themselves. Yeah, I'm death. like, bro. For for what though, my you know dude. And if I yeah. for if and I, I mentioned the sixteen mm-hmm. hours, but those are not like oh fuck. I, I yeah. actually, like I'm, you, I'm putting six, yeah, I'm putting sixteen doing. hours yeah. into my own shit. You was yeah. military, and we put yeah. way more than the, the day Yo, worth yeah. some shit into a program that got scrapped. Yeah, right. You know what oh, I mean? Like, man. really, <sighs> dude? I spent this much time, yeah. and then y'all trash it. Like Yo. I found actually last week, I found out I built this program. Up for uh for training. I was a training mm-hmm. invalidator. Last thing I got out, mm-hmm. I I built it from scratch. When they rule came down, I built it from scratch. TBA was called, yeah. uh, training. Uh, it was a training base, whatever. Mm-hmm. Built it up from scratch, man. Had to pull all the local data and all the local training and built all the stuff up. Yeah. And you get people signed off on it. It was supposed to be mm-hmm. better than the old. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure Navy has some similar different terms. But back when I joined, we had the paper folder. You, mm-hmm. you, you can drive a tractor trailer. You signed off, signed off, blah mm-hmm. blah blah. And you level up. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they got rid of the paper and then digitized it. Uh, yeah, then yeah, this yeah. required you to put your CAC in, sign it. You got to yeah, two CAC readers. Right, right. One for this, the yeah. the trainee to sign, and one for the supervisor to sign. Yeah, yeah. Then you needed a third party, so you had three CAC readers to mm-hmm. sign off on this mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it got to they got rid of. It. I'm like, bro. Even though I'm out, I've been out since 2012. I'm like, dude, I spent a year. Right. I spent a year building that shit, man. Yeah. And 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 you know, kind of getting back to it, man, was like the Japanese man. They kind of, um, again, I, I I love again. People think I hate Japanese. Like I don't hate Japanese, no, no, but I yeah, but no. I I call what I call what I see. Yeah, yeah. And if they go to America, right. they're gonna see certain shit, and they will be like, ah, oh, yeah. man, it's. Why they do it like this? Because it's America. Yeah. So I got I ca- I, I stopped saying right, right, to right. my wife in America because that shit like well I'm in Japan so yeah, yeah. it's kind of invalid. I was talking to somebody. <laughs> yeah, I was just like yeah. you know because like, oh you've been here so long you must yeah. really like it out here. And I was like I like it. I, yeah. I like it. But you're not. But you're not but Japanese. I'm not, yeah, yeah. But I'm not blind to the dark side of things right. that they have going on too. Like I know, like you know, it's. It's a beautiful place, a beautiful country, but it's, beautiful people. But darkness, but, res- darkness oh, is everywhere. Darkness is everywhere. Yeah. yeah, like you know, they're they're on one hand, customer service is awesome. Mm. Their work ethic, awesome. But they don't know how to think on, on the fly. On the other side, yeah, they they work themselves to death. Yeah, the government taxes the fuck out of them, and they, so they have and to they, work. And they take it. They yeah. take it. And you mentioned <laughs> yeah. one thing like that. We even say customer service, but mm-hmm. then like. How many times you go? This is a weird one for you guys that are listening and watching. You're like, what do you mean? Mm. When you go to McDonald's, you order you order a uh, sausage egg cheese McGriddle, yeah. and then at the end, take the egg off. Okay, but if you try to put it, if you try to do a, a cheese, they're like, no, we can't do that. Mm. Like they yeah. they're like, part, you they, you flip the yeah, script you gotta, like you break the the, the program. Yeah, and it works every time. <laughs> <Yeah>. It's like <laughs> they like take the egg off, and he's like, so you want sausage cheese? Okay. But if I just say McGriddle with cheese, uh go man aside, we cheese yeah, it. Right. Yo, cheese mm-hmm. it or not. Mm-hmm. Cheers mm-hmm. down. Like, but you just gave me the same shit I asked for. Yeah. I just I just yeah. flipped it. Not do that shit, man. So it's like and it's, yeah, you yeah. gotta and you go just register in the vehicle, man. Mm-hmm. Like in America, mm-hmm. you wanna buy a car, you flip over the title, mm-hmm. give me the money, done. Mm-hmm. We're done. Mm-hmm. I don't gotta go get a G by Seki and a Joto Show Me and this, this and this. Yeah, right. To to yeah. Uh, God forbid you lose your Honko. <laughs> Okay. I've had I've had I got one from a person that died. Yeah. But the husband had to go get the thing from the son in Tokyo the, yeah. and then do Other this. Names and- the wife passed away, the car road tax is twenty years old. Oh, 
Yeah, so we had to cancel the plates and it, all this other shit, yeah, man. So it's like yeah. they they uh, you can't you can't go to step C. They're not too flexible, right? You, yeah. And uh, what on the, what one thing I do I do mm-hmm. like is they don't have a lot of clerk words for that reason though, yeah, because yeah, they go A yeah, B yeah. C yeah. D E yeah. F G and you know it was like all right I know step C. Mm-mm. Now you got to go back to A. You got to did you go to yeah. window 2 yet? No, nah, yeah. you got I got to go to window 2 to get what it should already I right. got the paper already. Right, right, right. I got it downstairs. Right, right, right. And yeah. like so that's the I mean my, my wife, you know, we we yeah. we pluses and minuses too. Pluses yeah. and minus, man, but yeah. I you know she mm-hmm. speaks more English than I speak Japanese. Mm-hmm. When it gets hairy, she can't really understand certain things especially if I'm excited or mm-hmm. elevated voice. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that you know we have issues with that sometimes and yeah. stuff like that yeah. and, and or, or she plays the fucking well I didn't understand like no you understood yeah you, don't don't yeah, it. yeah they on, play that man. shit yeah, like they, you understand they, dude yeah, like oh I misunderstand like nah dude you didn't like, misunderstand no, I didn't hear it. Maybe yeah yeah no 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 yeah this is crazy man you wasn't you wasn't dealing you wasn't right. vibing with it at the time so you just right. passed it off yeah now that it's back. That's one thing, man. Yeah. Collectively, mm-hmm. like the I would say, I think it's not even a black Japanese. It's like Gaijin Japanese. Like we collectively yeah. all had the same, mm-hmm. the same thing. I, I mean, keeping it real, man. Yeah. Like, just keeping the conversation yeah, open. One thing, job. one thing I was, uh, and it's not going back to the porn stuff, but the one either. thing, one thing I was, um, I was telling her about, yeah. and I was like the difference. I was like, uh, we've been married for seven years now. Yeah. You've never, you've never not once initiated sex. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I've always. Yeah, Even if it's like a yeah, subtle initial yeah. Netflix for like thirty minutes and, and then, get into you know, it, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, it's I always got to put my hand on a leg or do this, yeah, and then she right. then she gets yeah. right into the mood. But like mm-hmm. she's never, I'm like, you can like grab, you can rub my back or something. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, like, yeah. it's like it's yeah. like you ain't never. Man. But I, but as she said, yeah. she mm-hmm. was telling me when we date dated, mm-hmm. uh, when we started, she was like, um, mm-hmm. uh, if we don't start, if we don't initiate, it's not bad or it's not um. It's not like uh, looking down on them. Yeah. Like if the dude initiates, then you're doing it because that's how. Yeah. yeah so, so that's the where I guess their Buddha, yeah. Buddhism, whatever, mm. or whatever they. they it, goes, religion, it goes back. Yeah, it's yeah, got yeah, roots. Yeah, yeah. It's got roots somewhere. Yeah. Man. So I'm like, so, man, that's it's kind of weird, but cool. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever. I mean, pretty much every Japanese yeah. chick I've been with, I banged on the first date, mm-hmm. including my wife. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. So it's like, they're. I want to say they're not. They're not. They're not. They're, I don't want to get for the guys who looking and yeah, watching yeah, coming. No, they're yeah. not. They're not easy. Yeah, no, it's but not they're like easy that. if that makes sense. Yeah, you know what I'm saying they're they're not easy. But they're not they're, as easy as I thought they were going to be. Right, right. They're yeah. not easy. They're, they're they're easy going. Like they're right. understandable down right. to earth people. People like because everybody wants what we want. Right, like, people are people. You know what I'm right. saying? And you know they're not <laughs> easy, but a lot of times everything is so you know you know simplified. Yeah. Easy to like the well, down, right. down, like I said, down to earth. Like, you know, you want right. what I want. Right. I'm not gonna play all these games and make you jump through all these hoops because yeah. I want the same thing. So, naturally, like, you get to a situation where it's like, oh, yeah, we ain't gotta waste time on, yeah, blah, 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 yeah, blah. yeah. They, that's one thing I did like yeah. about that. For us, yeah. the um, I mean, the thing is, if you got like a little, like, you, you can do, I've seen, I've mm-hmm. seen, I've seen some dudes that ain't mm-hmm. that ain't attractive signing some chicks on the base. I'm like, how the fuck did. How did he get her? And this is back because when, yeah. when I got here, that, yeah, everybody, everybody who's military yeah. has seen that scenario. Like, yeah, how the man. fuck did he pull her? Yeah, I, I know I got more game than this dude, but whatever, <laughs> whatever goofy ass game he spent spit to her, it worked, bro. Yeah, I've seen, bro. I've been, in, I've seen situations where I was like, I thought I was doing something yeah. by yeah. like keeping like, God a, damn, a would be creeper away right. from like a shawty out here. Yeah, and like you fast forward, man. They a whole family now. Yeah. Man. You got with old boy. At first, oh, I was yeah, like, yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, He's yeah, kind of yeah, strange. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, feel yeah. comfortable, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll, well, I'll, I'll step in. I'll do what's up. Yeah. And then, you know, you, and then, you know, a week or two later, yeah. you know, they, they hanging out. Yeah, yeah. Years me, down the me line, and Wiz, they got three yeah. kids. I'm like. Me and Wiz know, <laughs> me and Wiz know a guy that will be na- will remain nameless. Mm-mm, uh, mm-mm. We know a guy that's a music guy and, um. Yeah. He uh, that's as much description as I'll give, man. Yeah, but no, um, course, I was yeah, dating a chick. I was dating a chick before I got my wife. Now, yeah, yeah. She was thirty. She was um, thirty. Uh, she was about two years older than me. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they the weird thing about Jack, like the whole like they don't eighteen. They don't if you you know only kid, only daughter, only son. Yeah. Like you cool to remain. Yeah. It's like it's not a 
It's weird. It's weird. So she's 30. She was at the time, I think, when I was dating her, she was like 35, 36, and I was 33. Mm-hmm. Um, and we was like, we were pretty much dating for like two years. She right, weren't my right. girlfriend, but we was yeah, just, yeah, sure, you know what I mean? Sure. I wasn't messing with nobody else, but mm-hmm. she was 35. And then she showed me pictures uh, of her house. Mm-hmm. And she's like in this little ass, like fucking slither of a room. I'm mm-hmm. like, you're a 35 year old, fully functional woman. You work. Mm-hmm. And this is like, your This is where you stay at? This is where you stay at. Mm-hmm. So that's why she always came yeah. to my place. Right. You course. know what I mean? Um, so mm-hmm. she would come to my place and everything. But with her, man, it was like, all right, the sex is cool. She started, um, she started like packing on weight like quickly, uh, uh, and uh, then like uh, uh. then she was uh, we went snowboarding one time, and then like she took literally thirty five minutes to, to do one run. I was like, yeah, this ain't gonna work, this man. Gonna like literally that snowboard yeah. trip pissed me off because uh, she was just crying. She would grow a little bit and follow and cry. I'm like, you're that I I the metaphor was is like you're you're you you're gonna quit. Mm, so yeah. long, like short. I mean, summing up a story right here, man. Because I don't want to get too much oh, of me. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. If I would have started my business, um, and if I would have married her and started my business, she would my the way my wife helps now. Like I'm, I'm good at what I do. I work yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. I make shit happen, man. Like yeah. I mean, I'm I do ma- magic with, yeah. when it comes to the end of the month, Mm-mm. getting money. Mm-mm. But my wife, man, without her, I straight up wouldn't have all this, man. Oh, yeah. She, she is her family good support they, they uh their her mom and her brother co-signed for my first this is my second shop nice they co-signed i couldn't find a co-sign it was and they was like dude they don't co-sign for their own fucking people yeah so like and i got the shit in my name mm-hmm. everything mm. so they was like dude you're lucky lucky because you got the business in your name they co-sign for you which they don't co-sign for their own fucking relatives mm-hmm. um so it was just like that. Sh- it was weird man but yeah, my wife, man, like, you know, it was it was a good pick. It was a good, you know, a good find or whatever. And Absolutely. we just, we met and everything. Absolutely. But Blessing indeed. Yeah, yeah man, that was, uh, yeah, I, I I straight up, I met her. I went on one date with my wife, had sex. And I was like, yeah, man, I think we're done. And that, like, literally the next day, I was like, yeah, we're, we're and it was kind of cold, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I didn't want to do the fucking, right, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I actually did, I did. Uh, when I, when I, when I, I banged my wife mm-hmm. and then we weren't, it was just a date, so we weren't. We weren't official, mm. and then one more time I had the other chick come over, but her friend next door is how I met her. Mm. So she was through the window, and mm. then she's like, "What? Well, I, I see. I know you had the girl over or whatever." And then this other girl from Kuji, who Wiz definitely knows, mm. uh, name room name nameless. That was the bony chick Wiz with the mm. with the eyes and everything. You know what I'm talking about, Wiz? Yeah, it's, it's weird how you yeah. already is is yeah. Masao was so yeah. small, like yeah. So yeah, yeah, man. So anyway, what I was, what I was getting at, but the, the dude we know the dude was. After I, about two weeks, three weeks yeah, after yeah. I got done with her, yeah, yeah. one of the dudes was in a situation where he needed like green card. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah. I'm at the ATM and this chick, somebody hit me on my fucking, like tapped me on my ass. I'm like, who the fuck? Is-? I turn around and she's like, she's like this. I'm getting married three weeks after we had. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm Dang. like, you're getting married in three weeks? Oh, shit. Uh, maybe I'm exact. It was six weeks. Oh, okay. It was, yeah, yeah, but yeah. still. Mm-hmm. I turn around. She's like, oh, I'm engaged. I'm like, Sigoy. Johnny, mm-hmm, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, cool. Yeah. And then I then I run into the dude and her at yeah. San Juan. Then she seen me. Uh, I was talking to him, mm-hmm. and she seen me, man, and she just turned white. Like Dang. she, and then he was like, uh, she was she was like, oh, go man, don't tell him that you know him. I told him that you, I'm her, I'm her, his first. He's my first black guy. Try. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna fucking tell him because yeah, the dude's got a code. Yeah, and I'm right. the, and dude, and it's it was Don't like, it yeah, man, it was. <laughs> 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 the, hey, man, at least one dude, one of my dudes asked me like, I'm like, dude. Play ball, man. I don't. He's like, man, you mind if I'm like, I don't care, dude. Like, I'm done. Mm. She's already. She lives all in fucking Gucci Go. All right, mm. I'm not driving out there. But mm. the um, but all I was saying, man, was the um, she had uh, you know, she. Can't, she got she's getting married to the dude or whatever, mm-hmm. and then I, I don't know what happened to that and everything. But it, it was uh, the situation was just like it mm-hmm. was it was just, it was weird, man. And and um, yeah, man, they they just they, they just she was at that point where she was they get around thirty six, thirty seven, yeah, and like, they start. I gotta start. Yeah, I got to lock down. Yeah. Because, so the, yeah, yeah. the one before mm-hmm. her, the one before her was um, it was a um. The first, the, I think the second date, man, she's all like, so what do you think about marriage? I'm like, nah, no, <clears throat> nah. 
Oh, they did. Really like, real what do you? We not they real quick. We shouldn't even be talking about they this. But then she's like, that. "Well, my mom, she's straight." But I will respect this one chick. Cause she was like, her mom is a mm-hmm. uh, mom's cataract. She was just trying to get like, uh, yeah. she was trying to get you know ball get a military on, dude and support. Yeah, yeah. Support. And she weren't. She wasn't bad. Yeah, it was, it was just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. You understand it. I yeah, understand man. It. Yeah, yeah. But so I'm like, man, chicks, tr- chicks trying to use this for green cards, and then mm-hmm. you see them getting so safe to say, man, getting on my high horse, man. Uh, I I was with three different chicks mm-hmm. who I I was like, I don't want to do this no more. Like, mm-hmm. I don't want to play mm-hmm. games. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to do mm-hmm. it's one at a time for me. Mm-hmm. And uh, about within like a month, like two of them were married. Yeah. Like, so it was kind of like a sign at that point. Or? Yeah, they were just like, I'm like, mm-hmm. no, well, you got some dude that this was gullible. And like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, we're cool, we're cool, let's get married. Like, mm-hmm. nah, son. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it, it was all that mm-hmm. stuff, man. But mm-hmm. but yeah, man, so like, I mean, I don't want to keep you too much longer, oh, yeah, man. No, and, and yeah. I know Wiz, the Wiz down there. But as far, oh, as, the, sure. uh, far as the, like, I, I always like to ask, you know, guys, uh, you know, you mentioned the restaurant, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, One thing I will, uh, d- just for my business stuff, I, um... I never, I was, I never wanted to work in a shop because yeah. I worked in a couple of shops that were. Um, yeah. I seen some shit. One guy was actually prior Navy, got kicked out. Yeah. And um, I worked under him in a shop. I learned a little bit of stuff there, but I learned a lot from what I learned from him is not is how not not how to be shitty because he was right, just yeah. charging overcharging guys on credit cards and mm-hmm. doing all types of shit. Mm-hmm. He went to jail, and all that stuff and, mm-hmm. and things like that. And I was like, man, I never when I when I started my shop, man, yeah. it literally was like. Literally, like one month of like, this is what I want. Like, one, like, I literally, I never, I didn't plan it off for five, six, seven years. Right, right, right. It was literally one month I was working on a flight. Like, I'm like, dude, I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to do the furlough shit. Yeah, no. Um, of course not. I was like, uh, the 25 year for me, the 25 year rule for the cars going back to America was coming up. Yeah, yeah. I was like, the time is now. And yeah, something just told yeah. me to, to jump in. I had $5,000. That's it. Mm-hmm. So everything that, that I've done in over the last seven years started from $5,000. Mm-hmm. And I just, multiplied it nice. and multiplied it nice. and built a reputation to the point where I got, you know, one customer that I haven't, I got one customer that I haven't seen in two years mm-hmm. and he's probably done like th- what worth of parts and labor, like 30 K worth of like work. Mm-hmm. That's just off of reputation. Nice. Sending me money, 10 K yeah. yeah. this much. And like, you know, knowing that I'm gonna get the shit done because yeah, I'm not going to cuz 30k is not worth my business or reputation. Mm-hmm. And um and I get it done and stuff like that. So now I'm at a point where, you know, I mean, people don't hesitate to send me 29k for a car. Never met the person. Right. And I buy the car, the car shows up 3 days, picture sashin, put it on Instagram cuz that Instagram shit like I said before, yeah. it, it's a bad thing, but also it it, it yeah. kind of holds people accountable. Yeah, it does. Cause like yeah, if you say some shit on there, yeah. Or if like now I I notice with my customers, mm-hmm. if I don't post for a week, they always I get an email like, hey man, just checking to see if everything is cool. They think yeah. I fucking closed up and yeah. I'm like, yeah. nah, dude, I'm just busy and I'm mm-hmm. posting the same shit over and over. Right, right. So unless it's like a a new job or something that's like, yeah, not something I've already posted thirteen times because mm-hmm. I don't. I, I, seven years of post is like it's redundant. Yeah, I right. don't yeah. I don't put a post to be changing old. Yeah, right. I, I just mm-hmm. don't. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it, it it is what it is and that stuff, man. But far as your stuff, man. Yeah. Like um for sure. like the uh yeah, dude. I, I, I uh I'm definitely into it, man. I'm I'm like the I'm like talking to you, I'm like, man, I wanna I wanna fucking yeah, I wanna kill right. the rest of those grits or whatever. Uh, it's like I hate I hate <laughs> that we had to cut it short for oh, you, no, man. Because no, no, I wanted no. you to enjoy that for sure, for sure. No, that's all good, man. Uh, but but I, I do travel a lot and everything. Yeah. So I mean okay. far as the so all right, so you did mention like don't have a restaurant, but right, you do right. the, so Cause we actually we kind of glazed over it a little bit. Yeah. It's at the end, but it's still yeah yeah. For it's still sure. it's not a long podcast. The mm-hmm. um, so for your services yeah are are they are they like how how do you monetize gourmet grits and how do you okay like how do yeah. you sell like how do you how like how, right, if I'm trying to make it sense uh for the for the for listeners man how would somebody yeah. contact you and how would they utilize yeah. your services man yeah so um they could reach out to me either on the uh because i believe the gourmet grits page on facebook has a, a message uh, yeah. feature so you can message me there um the the one i'm probably more likely to see is the the instagram page instagram? Okay. so the grit show yeah um for that one and hey, you can hit me up on there and um say what you're interested in like if you're doing a party and Mm. you want me to make grits 
for the party, we can talk about, you know, what you want to eat, what flavors you're looking for. And then we, if I don't have a recipe in mind already, I've done this for a cat, man. Um, there's a cat named uh, Eddie. You got mm. a bar down in your coast called Ready Eddie's. And um, uh, he, 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 he came to me one day. He was like, hey, man, we want you to, I want you to bring grits. Uh, for New Year's, mm-hmm. for, the, for the New Year's thing, we're gonna have a bunch of people come in for the New Year's party, celebrate New Year's and whatnot. And uh, I want you to bring grits, but like last time you brought like salmon and you know some other stuff. You know, it's pretty much like a, 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 a another version of what I made for you today. Right. But he was like, I, this time I want some like some some hearty meat in that man, mm-hmm. like some 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 sausage, you know, some some bacon, something you know. Something a little bit more impactful mm. on that end, and I'm sitting there thinking because you know it's like gourmet grits is you know what I'm putting this out as, so I don't I don't, I don't want to just take something throw it together and yeah, call like it you know pepperonis. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It's like, <laughs> and it was funny like what I ultimately came up with. I'm not gonna call it like an official dish. And, you know, you're talking about things working on in the future. I, I, I do want to put a cookbook out. Gotcha. Um, hopefully a couple years from now. I'll be definitely be buying. Throw that. Oh, oh, nice. Thank you, sir. But um, it's going to be categories because what I did ended up doing for him, and it was kind of cool how this ended up mm. moving because um, I ended up coming to the idea of like, okay, why don't I do like a play on red beans and rice? Mm. But instead of rice, of course, you know, right. grits, good, you know, my – Standard, no, my standard, but you know the gourmet cheese grits, right? Um, paired with the red beans, and I, I did that at home, tested it, and I was like, okay, this can work. Mm. And then I brought it to him, uh, for his thing, and you know he paid me for that. Um, so like I'm 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 flexible on like what you're trying to eat at your gig. If you want me to bring grits for your party, we can do that. Um. And there's also the, you know, me coming over if, say, I've, I've cooked for uh, married couples. Mm-hmm. I had a, a married couple. They invited uh, the in-laws over. And so it was like, you know, husband, wife, dad, mom, mm. and then their daughter or whatever, like little little kid. I cooked for the whole family. What, Japanese American or American Japanese? They were American. Okay. They were American. Um, I haven't had. A uh, house call for a Japanese person mm. just yet. Well, I'm, I'm working on that though. Um, but uh, yeah, I I cooked. Depending on the dish, I'll, I'll charge. Like the dish I made was the dish I brought in the day to baby grand. Mm. Um, I um, I charge for each portion that mm. I'm serving, and then I also a little bit for like the experience of me coming there, bringing right. the equipment, cooking and stuff for you, and all that other stuff. Um, and I, I, I try to make it reasonable. We, we talk we can talk it out. Um, and then, you know, figure out what's, what's good for you, what you can do. But I, you know, at the end of the day, I, I'm buying all the, the, right, the ingredients right, 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 and all right, that right, stuff right. too. So I gotta, I gotta make sure I'm breaking something off of yeah. myself as well. Yeah, at the man. End of the day. But yeah. So like, you know, personal dinners, private dinners, party functions, catering type deals, like, you know, just get hit up the grit chef Instagram page and we can talk it out and, gotcha. and, and get a plan together for you. Um, and then, uh, also like, you know, I've, uh, I've delivered in, in a couple of cases, but this is something that I'm not, you know, we'll, we'll, I, I think it needs more work yeah. as far as like how it's well, like, done. Like we, like yeah. you said, cause that, that, mm-hmm. uh, little condensation and packaging yes. and ther- thermal efficiency yes. and all that stuff like yes. that, man. It'll, and it, then also like, mm-hmm. like ramen, we mentioned bring a ramen earlier, yeah. the, um, there's a few place. There's a couple places in town that start doing a takeout, but they don't do it. It's like, dude, because that shit. Yeah. It. It. Uh. I seen now where they they uh separate the uh the soup from the yeah because you yeah. put that shit on the noodles. By the time you get to the dorms, the is absorbed yeah, the shit right. and it's like soggy. Yeah. And it's yeah. like uh and they the customer eats it. And it's like oh that shit was I'm like dude yeah, it cooked right. it cooked while you were. Yeah. Driving, yeah. So they don't, so, um, mm, mm, mm. yeah, they don't, uh, they like. I, yeah. my one of my favorite spots in town is Thunder Ramen, a barbecue, Nisa oh, yeah. Ramen, Love them. bro. That, yeah, that, that, mm. my my thing with ramen is the first thing is chasho, the, the, the meat is the, oh, 
Yeah, I think we agree. That's just tender. Yeah, as hell, and the that's meat. Because I can't. I, I don't. Oh, I'm not man. into the. I'm not yeah. into the fatty, yeah. cold, oh, yeah. where they, they just chop it and throw it in there and, right, like, right, what well, yeah. heats up with, nah, like, that nah. shit's fucking cold. Yeah, like, what the fuck? The fat is, like, white. me right now. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's like, yeah, so we agree mm-hmm. on that, man. So, like, that, that sure. barbecue shit is, like, freshly, it's, it's, it's mm-hmm. own temperature, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they put it on to the, oh, man. and You bl- get a bowl from them, it's always hot. Yeah. It's hot. Everything's yeah. hot. And you just like but I, I had to I had to do that uh, big black bowl, that big black bowl yeah because I'm I, I I'm not I'm I'm bigger yeah. but I actually believe it or not man I don't um mm. I depending on what it is man I don't yeah. actually eat a lot man. Oh, yeah, like yeah, I don't no, like I know, being I, um I is, yeah. uh, training for training and stuff and, mm. and military stuff one of the things in Iraq was um believe it or not like training yeah. they was like don't um you never know when you're gonna get mortared right, you never right. know when you gotta run right, and shit so right. never eat to the point where you're like fucking yeah, just full uh, slow yeah because yeah, you, 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 like, you gotta you gotta get up and run and, and they yeah. did it to us they took us out to te- texas mm-hmm. where we trained at mm-hmm. for uh iraq um they they did they was like after they did that shit to us and mm-hmm. then he's like this is why you don't do that so it took us to after about three four weeks of eating mm-hmm. mres mm-hmm. Sh- not five weeks mm-hmm. this last week we did this uh we would drive out to texas so mm-hmm. we do this drive uh le- it's called left seat right seat mm-hmm. you got to drive out to a point for the you got to make sure you can drive a tractor mm-hmm. trailer mm-hmm. and then the re- lunch was this uh rib spot and i've done and it, we look forward to it because i've done three yeah. tours so the first time with that i was like dude so i'm like they and the, and, the, and the you know the, the hazy right, the, right, the, right. the the dudes who are the e sixes e fives yeah, they, they like they like just yeah. let them eat that shit and they like yeah, just nibbling yeah, on it yeah. and we fucking all a one c e one e three is killing it I mean the the Texas man so everything is big of course, steaks are like of course ribs they like mm-hmm. we just fucking Delic- killing it like, all right we're so getting your PT gear yeah. about to run uh, seven miles haha <laughs> I'm like bro people were throwing up left and right. Dang, that was man. the worst run of my life, man. Okay. And then the next year, I was the educated, and I was mm-hmm. like, I ate a little steak, and then I seen the new guys just killing them. Like, yeah, they're gonna yeah. get that shit. Just yeah. you know, get yeah. back, skin your PT gear. And they're like, what? Mm. I'm like, yeah, man. And then it's like a little hazing mm. shit. Just like yeah. you know, yeah, kind of like when I went to Rapunga the first time. The dudes mm-hmm. like, they didn't tell me not to talk to the Nigerian dudes. Yeah, he's like, don't even yeah. talk to them. Don't even just keep walking. Yeah, and they behind yeah, me yeah, laughing yeah. and shit. And I'm like, fuck, so funny. He's like, don't even like th- don't this. Even. Don't say nothing yeah. because when you talk, yeah. they like they think they're gonna, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. So, but no, man, it's, it's kind of cool, man. We, yeah, we yeah. we've been, you know, I mean, again, we just met for the first time today. Yeah, yeah. But it's you know, we, collective experiences, man. Are, yeah. are it's like we know each other, know each other much, man. Yeah, and then like it been then by having you know Wiz there as the mediator, man. Mm-hmm. Like it's like it's like I know Wiz, Wiz my. It's, so it's like pretty much mm-hmm. Wiz ain't Wiz ain't. Friending goobers and clowns and shit. You know yeah, yeah, no, and that's no. that's kind of one thing I like between mutual yeah. friends. But at the same time, we all got mm-hmm. friends that yeah. that do hang with goobers and clowns too. So indeed, you can't. Indeed, but where's the different man? Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah. I already know it's gonna be a cool, smooth dude. Mm-hmm. And then honestly, to be in Japan, man, and um, yeah. and I, again, man, as soon as he, as soon as Wiz said it, I I was like, I seen this shit before. Yeah, I think on Wiz page. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I was like, there's a no brain. I was like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, and like, that was like you know. Sure. Then you you say you're gonna be up here. I was like, this better. Than Zoom, yeah, way so, better, way yeah, better than yeah. Zoom. Yeah. <laughs> so they, yeah, they, yeah. Man, got a meal too. Oh, yeah, dude. You gotta, yeah, man, bro. I wasn't. The, this, this is the first. This is 159 podcast, man. Yeah, it's the first time man. anybody ever bought me food, man. Bro, hey, man, I'm, I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep it nice for you, man. Yeah, yeah, that, sure. that was, that was amazing. And then, like, I mean, to be to to be salmon of all the ones is like, bro, that was, bro, that was like, you know, I mean, I, you know, the baby grand is a dude, favorite. That, that's that's favorite for, for yeah. a lot of people now. Like yeah. I see, you got the you got the yeah. image right there, man. Yeah, so, that's so, that's like the flagship dish, right? Yeah. So how many? Um, speaking, I mean, so yeah. how many? Um, like confirmed uh, recipes. recipes do you have? Uh, at the moment, uh, yeah. officially, I want to mm. say five, five, five. That's, and there there are ones in the backlog that you know I'm in the process of like revisiting recipes, right. dressing them. You up, got any with, them any out. with shrimp? Ooh, yeah. so uh, I have no, the, uh, I don't want to give up no secrets, man. Yeah, no, 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 it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, so, that's what it is. So <laughs> this <laughs> thing is encoded too, by the way. So if anybody like, I know people <laughs> like to play with me at work and like, oh man, if I get the book, it's it, it's over. I got, oh, the, nah, I got nah, the secrets. Nah, nah, I got nah. the secrets to the journey and everything else. Nah. I'm like, nah, it's pretty. You get it. You, you, there's gonna be a lot of garbled mess in there when you try to figure yeah. out what's going on, but. I uh, I don't keep none of the recipes in here anyway, just ideas. But Got um, you. I uh, 
I have a crab cream grits. Okay. And then I like to put uh I like to put shrimp on top of it okay, sometimes. Okay. The the thing that um uh, about like my whole uh project is just like the thing that really took me on this journey and, and, and got me looking at different things and different ways of making things was just like anytime I talked about like, oh, I make grits, you know, and blah 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 and they're like, Oh, shrimp and grits? Yeah. And I'm just yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's always, like, it's always, <laughs> that's what I was, uh, shrimp and grits? I offended you, man, my no, bad. No, no, you didn't, no, you didn't, no. Because it's like, I, yeah. I understand, because like, uh, after after a while, like, I got, I came to the point, I was like, people love it. Yeah. So, like, I mean, people love it, it you it, can't it, knock it. I, the only thing I can do is, like, make it a special experience. Mm. Like, they're looking for shrimp and grits, you had mine, and then you tell me how you feel about shrimp and grits as a whole. It's mm. kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Um you know i so i got the crab cream grits and the shrimp and i think mm. i threw a lot of people off because they they got it because of the shrimp they saw mm. the shrimp in the picture they didn't know the crab was there yeah so when the crab when they when they ate it and they were like oh there's crab in here too yeah what? overload yeah. overload man it's like that so, it, man it's mm-mm. it bro it's, it's got it's, it's it's uh it's something that i think um mm-mm-mm. It's crazy, man, because a lot of the simple, simple dishes that we grew up on, like I said yeah. again, yeah. like rice, rice, egg, hot dog, and a, and a, and a little onion. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's um, and the thing is, rice, egg, rice, egg, and hot dog is you know chopped mm-hmm. up hot dogs is, is like what. But when you add, I'm not a I'm mm-hmm. not a raw onion fan, but if it's sautéed yeah, or yeah. It, it's caramelized, yeah. it's mm-hmm. a different. So just adding that onion sure. is a natural sweetener For sure, yeah. and everything, man, yeah. and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. and that's why not do you, uh, her mom, her mom's 78. And when she sees me cook, like I'm not one thing she uh, she I don't. She was like, you didn't use a measuring cup. I'm like, I know how much yeah, water I need. Right. And I was going to ask you that, too. Yeah. You know exactly how, how long the heat, the tent, mm-hmm. when you got to stir it. Yeah. You know, and it, it's the pot you're going to use. Yeah, and yeah. And then, like, mean? in preparation for the book, man, I got to start, like, breaking some of those habits because, like, I can throw something together, man, without really measuring too much right. of anything. But, you know, the the book is going to be a way to challenge myself to actually, you know, come correct. Standardize. Yeah, standardize yeah. things and, and really just make it professional and, and to a level that people can pick the book up and make gourmet grits themselves. Mm. Um. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, oh, man, man. I, I get I get the eyeball and so I'm like, all right, Bob, Bob, yeah, tasting as you go. So yeah. it's like you know, it's not fully blind, right? You know, and you can add little by little. You can't take out, so it's mm-hmm. good to add little by little until you get to where you want to be. Right. Um. But yeah, like it's uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a process to it. It, it yeah. definitely is. You Did- get the feel. Of it, yeah. After a the while. the uh, I was gonna ask you too mm-hmm. because you because you're making it so much, man. Mm-hmm. Does it um, do you ever do you ever, ever had to bring in somebody? Like, hey, man, could you taste this for me? Because like mm-hmm. you're mm-hmm. you probably done so many batches that day, mm-hmm. or like you kind of, or you're you eat. It's like working at McDonald's. Yeah, it's like yeah, you, yeah. it's like the dream, and then you like it's only so many chicken nuggets you can eat before it's like, dude, yeah, I'm right, done with this right, shit. Yeah, so yeah. do you ever get like that, or is yeah. it? tired of the grits or right. to the point where what, like, just yeah. uh being able to taste like a different yeah um i try to when i'm working on like when i said like a new recipe mm-hmm. yeah I, like i definitely have people try it out for sure to to you know get a multiple taste buds or multiple sets of right. taste buds is definitely better than just mine yeah because it's weird it's, you know it's weird where it's like one mm-hmm. thing we're in all the same and everything so mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. like weird shit like um like i got Everybody got a weird like combination. Yeah. Like one one we had this particular coconut cookie uh, mm-hmm. where I grew up grew up, mm-hmm. and it was like the little wavy like uh it's like it coming like the little rose ghetto coconut cookies. Oh yeah, yeah, the little the tin in the yeah, tin. Yeah, and it like yeah. got the little waves in it. But yeah, they yeah. but there was that was the the basic ones. But then they mm-hmm. was these little advanced ones that had like little. Mm-hmm. Uh, it actually had like coconut. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like real coconut in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like coconut cookies and like orange juice, dude. Mm-hmm. Like I would dip it in there. And it was like that weird, interesting. Yeah, it was like mm-hmm. weird ass combination yeah. taste, and and uh, yeah. and and where like you know uh, we talk about the ramen, yeah. the, uh, the the American ramen, which mm-hmm. they got pitcher ramen on the front, and that's when I got shit like that. When I got yeah. doing the thun, I'm like, oh, this is the pitcher yeah, yeah. on a ramen pack we ate in the hood, but mm-hmm. that was not the real ramen. So mm-hmm. I would put mm-hmm. like the uh, the beef flavor, and I would put like a piece of cheese in it, and yeah, this is my sure. uncle. Went in jail. He's like, you know, put cheese in it. Yeah. And like that cheese just totally changed the flavor. And you add the beef packet. It. Mm-hmm. It's like you got beef flavored cheese ramen. Mm. And then you chop some hot dogs up in there. It's like, it, it, I mean, I, I, I do. I, I really appreciate. Yeah. I really appreciate 
not uh, this maybe sound dumb to some people, man, but I really appreciate not having everything at my fingertips growing mm. up because it, it added grit, yeah. it added creativity, yeah, for and sure. then even like the the music, man, like you know, it's I, I don't know, man, it's like I don't, I didn't, I never, I was never formally taught how to mm-hmm. play piano or mm-hmm. make. I just knew the signature, right, the, right, the right. right composure, right, right, and right. then now I do my own shit. I don't. Yeah. I do a two bar into four bar into mm-hmm. eight bars, and it it sounds. Yeah, it's not yeah, like yeah, a yeah. standard, you know, four mm-hmm. sixteen blah blah blah. You know, it, it, it's, it's it's different stuff, man. So the creativity, mm-hmm. man. I think I take it for granted, man. Yeah, I take it for granted being create creative and being able to think on the fly, and then mm-hmm. like your skill set with the with all the stuff you do, man, and the grits, man, is like. Mm. Just a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and yeah. like you could totally change the flavor of something, and then like you don't even think to write it down because yeah, it's like yeah. right, I know it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's definitely cool. I'm definitely excited to you know for the book to come out. Mm-hmm. I definitely mm-hmm. plug it and promote it. I'm, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm definitely gonna, yeah, yeah I'm definitely, sure. I'm gonna, you yeah. know, I, I just really for mm-hmm. your time here and everything and, yeah, and just promoting things and and um and and, mm-hmm. and one thing is uh. Not assuming that everybody knows like something yeah, because sure. you know that's you know people mm-hmm. just like everybody don't know everybody. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. No, yeah. But um, I know we're we're probably running a yeah, yeah, long time right, for man. sure, for sure. Uh, there was some other things I wanted to run by you. Yeah, we can always. No, no, man. I mean, I, I, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm good. If, uh, yeah. Uh, where's where's this gravy? You good, man? You got that? You got that? that time. I got, I got, I got okay. Right, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah. No, it's all, all, all good. You're all yeah, good. Yeah, it's all good. So like, just uh, just a quick little wrap up yeah. like you know because i briefly touched on the whole renaissance man thing um dancing you seen cooking you seen mm. i'm writing stories as well gotcha. and i saw you post something the other day it looked like a, a movie poster like for like film yeah yeah actually we, we're situation? getting we're getting a, um actually the because i'm, I'm a pro uh mm-hmm. pro professional drifter yeah Prior military, so the mm-hmm. guy I, I did a um I mean I've done I've done all these YouTube videos and mm-hmm. honestly my videos with the the way the alg- algorithm is written and I'm mm-hmm. not doing crazy yeah stupid demonic like right. time I'm not yeah. doing that type of stuff yeah it's not very get that, it's, it's those buried views, it's right. like buried yeah. so I'm getting like I used mm-hmm. to average two three thousand right but anyway man get to the long yeah. story I've seen the movie I was the first American to see it mm-hmm. my wife. My wife again. My wife. I was like, oh, I really. I didn't even hear about. She heard about the movie. Yeah. And I was like, okay, let's go. Let's go see it. So I go see the movie. Mm-hmm. The whole fucking cast. Well, the back. They're all. They're yeah. all. They're all peers of mine. Yeah. I know all of them. Nice. So I'm like, I'm gonna go home and do it. As soon as I go, I'm gonna go home and do a review. Came here to the podcast, mm-hmm. press record, mm-hmm. and I did a review. And the director saw it and messaged me within an hour. Nice. The, the, the movie. The director of the movie. Mm-hmm. I like the review, uh, this, this, and this. Mm-hmm. This is this person. That, like, so I'm. Nice. So my wife is like, th- again, mm-hmm. prime example. She was like, oh, you can't talk to him like that or do this. I'm like, dude, he messaged me. Yeah, no, like so we're she, already. She, here. And, then, and then when he came you know here saying? to the visit, I'm like, Mm-mm. you know, I'm like, this is the schedule, laid it out. Mm-hmm. And she was thinking because he was a director that he was going to, like, you no. Gonna and he was like, nice yeah. For him a little bit. And uh, yeah. even with the uh, promotion of it. Mm-hmm. Um, I did the, the event thing and then he's like, oh, can you change this? Can you change this? I'm like, look, give me all the notes mm-hmm. so I can make the changes one time and be done with it. Mm-hmm. Cause Japanese kind of yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit, a little bit, a little bit like, yeah. Hey man, just put everything out there. So anyway, mm-hmm. um, I got it planned on, I was planned on base. I talked to the agencies. Nice. So it's the first uh, time it's going to play on the military installation. Nice. Nice. And, um, she was like, well, why are you doing this? I'm like, bro, I'm doing this because not, I'm not hoping, but I know like now Everybody that that director knows, which is a lot of people, mm-hmm. he's he's now talking mm-hmm. about my shop, yeah. me, yeah. already talking about putting me in, yeah. putting me in a part two of the movie. Yeah, and you, you know what I'm saying. And then, and then the connection yeah. of it is like, yeah. hey man, you know this dude, this 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 and this. Like, yeah, I know mm-hmm. this guy, I know this guy, I know this guy, and I also know a dude who make grits. You know what I'm saying? Somehow he's in the, somehow you know what I'm saying. If it gets to that point, hey, yeah, and that's yeah, how yeah. connections are made, moving man. Moving as yeah. though you know. Do I know a DJ? Like, yeah, be. I know yeah. a DJ. Yeah, you like, know what I'm saying. I know a DJ mm-hmm. who you know he spins the records. The fluidity, yeah. of the, network. the <laughs> yeah. fluidity of the network and and and, and yeah, full man. motion, man. Just yeah. like believing in what you're doing. Yeah. So to this the point, is right yeah. here. So this is the yeah, yeah. live I, home. So. Nice. And that we uh, we did another um mm-hmm. we did another flyer with the my stuff on there and yeah, everything yeah, yeah. and he didn't I didn't even ask I 
I said support it by Pinkle Style. My logo's on it. Yeah. And now his production company shared it with my logo on nice. it and my buddy. I'm nice. like, so let's get you in the mix. Yeah. I can I can make the graphics, but mm-hmm. I don't have time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see. Oh shit! I was like, uh, I was like, I, 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 I was like, um, I don't have time. So anyway, I got him to yeah. do, do the little design mm-hmm. and throw his logo in there. So now that's my yeah. other partner, and it's it's like strategic. Like he came, he came, the director of yeah. the movie, yeah, dudes all over. He came to my shop. I'm like, dude, mm-hmm. I told my wife, I'm like, bro, he's not coming here to see cars. Like, he's already seen cars. He's yeah. coming here to school. He's coming here to unofficially interview me. Right. Right. This is an unofficial interview. Right, right. So when he's seen the car, he's seen my mm-hmm. setup, he's seen my the cleanliness of my area. And he's like, the "This dude yeah. got shit, yes. you know, going on." Yes, and I yes. was, and I was like, you know, he left. We did the little bow and you know, sign mm-hmm. our shit. I was like, I was like, this is just the beginning. I told her, she was like, well, "Nani," yeah, I was like, right. you, you, you "Yeah, it's yeah. the stamp. Trust me. Yeah. Maybe not next year. Maybe yeah, not yeah, the year yeah. after next, but yeah. the the work I, I it's uh, 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 collectively." Mm-hmm. Between the back and forth talking, mm-hmm. going to base back and forth, um, I, I I I put about six hours, which is not you know, nice. it's not. I put about six hours in it. Got the movie on base plan January fourteenth. Yeah. Two shows, and in and a director's gonna be there himself. Nice. And uh, so it, it's um, I, I I just I I try to tell her because she's so close to me. Yeah. That she don't understand, and I'm right, like, dude, right, right. what I'm doing is, and it's not being conceited. I'm like. What I'm doing here is not normal. Yeah, yeah, no. It's not, and yeah. and I don't like when she. I, I personally, I'm like, you're like, kind of talking to me like, no, like this is normalcy shit or normal. Mm-mm. And then I'm watching it. I don't watch the news, but when she's got the TV on, Mm-mm. the motherfucker's like doing a backflip or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, go ahead. Did you see that? Like, dude, I don't. Fu- yeah, yeah. Right. Like you're blowing up some other dudes. Yeah, and that I'm over here. You know, I'm over here banging you. <laughs> and shit, and like you, you ain't blowing. I got the magic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You ain't blowing Yo, up. You ain't like man. you ain't, you ain't yeah. sharing my fucking videos. Yo, like you right. sharing some other shit, yeah. like some uh, Daigo with the dude, the little yeah, Japan dude. Yeah. yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah. or the Yoshi, the Yoshi, Yoshi, the Japan yeah. next dude. I'm like, uh, nah, what, what, what no, relevancy? I know how, I know how it gets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I ain't you jealous and shit, yeah, but it's like right. oh, you can share my shit. Yeah, nah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. We're, we're out here trying to, we're out here trying yeah. to be unique. And that's be like fresh. that's like Wiz with a girlfriend, like you know, come in with like DJ Clue shit only. It's like. <laughs> That motherfucker's old as shit, man. You still, what you doing? You got red alert shit and everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I got new shit I just put out. You know what I mean? You know, Jeez. rest in peace, man. But it's yeah, like, yeah, for sure, for sure. But, uh, but no, nah, man, it, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's my thing, man. Like I say, man, we def, yeah. I'm, I'm deaf, whatever you share and, oh, yeah. and, and oh, stuff yeah. like that, I'm going to share it up and do that, do yeah. my, do my part because again, I personally, I, yeah. I, 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 it's something I learned how to get over, boys. We're going to wrap up, man. Yeah. It's something I, something I had to, the, my, the first two years of my business. I was taking everything personal, man, because yeah. I'm 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 compet I'm competitive. I'm right, com- right. I don't mind competition. Mm. Competing is I like to compete. Yeah. So I don't mind I don't mind it. So I'm like, all right, well, fuck, we can go. I'm gonna outwork this motherfucker. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm like, man, I'm fucking getting stressed. Like I I for sure, for end sure. up in the ER, man, because I'm like yeah, thinking about yeah, so much shit. Yeah. And I didn't I never had an anxiety. What I know now, it was an anxi- anxiety, anxiety attack. attack yeah. Work up three in the morning, heart fucking just yeah. pounding and shit. Yeah. I feel like, like, literally, feel like I'm dying, dude. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Praise God, I haven't yeah. had one of those yet. Cause I, and I never, my and mind be all over the place. I'm like in there, like you know, in a hot, in a you know. Mm. This is because, like, it, it, I mean, I, I I wasn't working on base. I mean, yeah, it was yeah. straight up, it was straight up, like mm-hmm. all on my back, man. Mm-hmm. And, and mm-hmm. It, I had the one kid at yeah. the time. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I'm like, man, how am I do this? I'm gonna do that. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. that 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 that. That feeling of being like, uh, mm-hmm. like you have no safety net, man. Yeah. But like, I had to pull off it. from base because it's, it's either you yeah. or or that's it. Because yeah. I had to, I had to pull mm-hmm. off from base because if I didn't, I still had a crutch working at the, the jaw. So I did that for six months. Yeah. And I was like, I can't do this. For sure. I, mm-hmm. I, I got to pull out, man. So I pull out, and I'm mm-hmm. like, bro, I got a month to make it, and I got and I and honestly, mm-hmm. seven years later, the, to be full, um, sometimes I get to the point where I'm like, I got two months in the books, but. Yeah. It's it, and this is real. I'm, t- I'm being real out there for guys who want to start businesses. Mm-hmm. Seven years in, and I'm still like you know honestly, you know some people hide that shit. It's still a month to month process, man. Yeah, I yeah. get it. I knock the bills down. December first, I start over. I got to the fifteenth mm-hmm. to the first bill come in. Mm-hmm. That's how Japan works. And then that one thing I tell guys about Japan side of it. Yeah, being from Baltimore, when they when your shit's due, they'll come cut it off. Oh, Here yeah. they give you like fucking six weeks. 
Yeah. They're like, oh, you're going to pay? Are you going to pay? And then the sixth time, they're like, we really need you to pay. And yeah, then the seventh right. time, like, are you sure you're going to really pay? Right. And uh, I haven't been that far, but I'm like, I- I've been on the third time. Like, all right, we'll we'll yeah. get it paid. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm teaching her how to do hood shit. Yeah. Which right. is like, which one is the house? Yeah. The, the fucking electric? Like, yeah. It, the other shit we can we can get to it. So mm-hmm. I'm teaching her how to stack the bills and pay yeah. what we got right now. And then yeah. like you know, so you know, and and I keep it real, man. Because a lot of people try to mm. on this Instagram shit, they front and fake oh, like yeah. is oh, all. Yeah, no. And they because I I do post the car sometimes, mm-hmm. and they assume because I got this car, I'm like no, I actually I, I traded somebody something. I bought it. I got. Mm-hmm. I don't like. I'm, I'm not gonna put it online. Yeah, but sure. I bought it for that. I didn't yeah. buy that. Mm-hmm. And um, so people in my family, they like, oh, it must be nice. I'm like, yeah, it's nice. And yeah. I, just, I just block their ass because yeah, I'm like, yeah. I don't need that type of thing. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I, my my timeline is actually pretty. Don't do that to me. Yeah, my yeah. timeline is pretty. Mm-hmm. It's, it's positive, man. Because I, I, yeah. I unfollow. I like that function because mm-hmm. I don't want. To, I don't want to delete you. Yeah. But right. if you're like over here, like, you know, mm, you know, mm, pro mm. kid sex, then I got to delete you. Oh, yeah. I got to block you. I got to. I can't have you. Yeah. Fucking up my flow. Yeah, my yeah. So my, my timeline yeah, is very, very yeah, yeah. positive, man. And, and I've seen some other buddies' timeline is just negative and, you yeah, know, yeah. stuff like that. So you, mm. you your timeline on the social media stuff, because it's useful, man. Again, yeah. we met. We yeah. met that way, man. And, and yeah, yeah, so yeah. That, that's how it is, man. But again, yeah. man, David, man, thanks again for stopping through, brother. Indeed, indeed. Wiz, thanks for uh, bringing him in and everything. And yeah, Wiz yeah. down there. We, we'll get Wiz. Mm-hmm. Wiz ain't been back in the studio yet. On his own joint and everything, he's just Ooh, he's yeah. doing it, and, and and I will say why you know giving Wiz his flowers while he's here, man. Is like Wiz is one of the most selfless guys in Masawa, man. Like yeah, he's man. he's good at what he do, mm-hmm. but at the same time, man, he he ain't like you know in speed like I, I could mm-hmm. do this, do that, and do that. It's like people like that I really vibe with yeah. because if you if you got to tell a motherfucker, yeah, yeah. like what you're you know mm-hmm. if people can't speak for you, man. I think oh yeah, you know what I mean I don't do I, when I meet people I don't even I mean I I felt even stupid even tell him a pro driver just because you might you didn't know yeah, that's, yeah. but i don't go up to nobody at the club like hey man pro driver can i get in like who, pro driver or what yeah, you fucking nah. lewis hamilton nah, yeah, get out of here yeah, nah. like nah. You, f1 is like the only <laughs> f1 is like the only motorsport recognized worldwide right for real because they make money money yeah and it's only like 21 of them Mm-mm-mm. you know what i'm saying so it was like you know just because i got pro license that don't move me up until a yeah. B- a, it's right, yeah. it's just in that circle of realm People know what I do, but Mm-mm-mm. you know I don't go up to nobody, and introduce myself, and, and I talk to some guys yeah. at the hobby shop. Never mention that, it, and, they, and they find out about somebody else. Like, oh, dude, I didn't know. It's mm-hmm. like, cause why? Why do I gotta? Yeah. You find out about somebody else that I'm a pro driver, mm-hmm. and I actually listen to you talk shit that was actually really incorrect. Yeah, right. And I didn't correct you. Mm-hmm. I didn't offer. Mm-hmm. It's like you. I one thing I was like, hey man, you they should probably like you know tear up the fire real high on the grits and give it that burnt flavor. It's like it's like I didn't. It's why like would I it's like why would I? It's like it's like some motherfucker who would tell somebody like I would never tell a dude who's a, a master of the craft some shit like you know. Mm. What I mean, it's like why would you? you yeah, know, right. Why yeah, would yeah. I do that? You yeah, know what I mean? Because yeah. I I brand I, I brand grits before. Mm. Oh yeah, it don't taste good, but you oh. had to eat that shit because yeah, that's yeah. all it was. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna leave. We're gonna sound like that man. So again, man. Yeah. yeah got yeah. my guy David uh, David Franklin here, mm-hmm. uh, Memphis, Tennessee uh, native. Uh, in, in here in Masawa and everything Indeed. again, he yeah. travels and everything. Ro- like mm-hmm. I would say, he's a he's a he's the gourmet grits Roman, mm-hmm. which is like you know Roman out there is like it's a samurai who don't got a master. You know, he just roams around and does his Ronin. thing. Man. The, yeah, Yo, man. Add, yeah, I've been called, bro. I've been called so many things. <laughs> the grits guru, the grits master, yeah. the grits god. Yeah, grits Ronan. I'm, I'm gonna keep that one. Yeah, man. It's grits like I'm a, yeah, sam, I'm sam, like I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a history like samurais and kenshin and all that stuff, man. Oh yeah, Miyamoto Musashi and all. All that I'm good down, stuff, I'm man. Down, yeah. But the uh, yeah, guys are there again, man. This has been a good like. Uh, this is how I do it, man. The guys are there have been away for a little bit. Um, I just been busy with the business and doing stuff. And my thing is like uh, one thing David mentioned before. It's like you know quality and 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 uh, his friend with the TikTok pushing stuff out just to for the mm-hmm. sake of putting content out. Mm-hmm. I that's not my thing. And like with the podcast. The mm-hmm. numbers I've been doing this for now three years is only one fifty nine. There's people who've been doing it for a year mm-hmm. and they got like five hundred and it's, they're just putting out mm-hmm. garbage, man. They mm-hmm. just putting mm-hmm. out. So for me with this podcast stuff, um, my personal thing is, is uh, I just want to get meaningful contacts out there. When I first started the podcast, I was saying I would get anybody on, but honestly, um, I tried that and uh, it just 
resulted in lost time because yeah. it just wasn't um it wasn't productive. So I mean, people I want to talk to is uh, are, are are people who are innovative, pushing the boundaries. A, yeah. a dude from Memphis, Tennessee, and Japan making fucking grits with a gourmet uh, gourmet style grits is like you not. You know what I mean? You're not gonna get that. It's, it's too like many that's like just walking downtown. And you see a Waffle House. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like you're not gonna see that in Rapungi. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And no. if you do see it, you know what I mean? My it's guy's gonna be in there making grits. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. definitely get up to it. Check out there. Check out everything. Uh, Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you said grit, grit chef. Grit chef. Your chef. And yeah. I'm, I'm gonna put everything in the bottom so you can yeah, click yeah, on it. Sure. Facebook at Gourmet Grits mm-hmm. and everything. And then again, shout out yeah. to my guy Wiz down here yeah, uh, for yeah. making a connection here and everything mm-hmm. out there. And, and my 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 final statement, man, out there, guys, is this: uh, be positive and uh, stay in your lane. Uh, all you know, don't get out your lane unless you got to get out, get out your lane, and then get right back into it mm. quickly. Put the blinkers uh, yeah, on. Yeah, put the blinkers on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, throw the hazards on if you don't know which yeah, way yeah. you're gonna get over. Yeah, yeah. And, and and get back in your lane quickly and resume work, man. Like I say, if, if you got time to do, you know, BS stuff and and argue online, you could be answering emails mm. and doing whatever and doing whatever, man. Staying staying uh, disciplined and making it happen, man. Life is short, man. Um, yeah. 2022 is wrapping up, man. A lot oh, of yeah. people. Uh, and the limelight has passed away, and uh, you know, I mean, just make it happen, man. Make it, yeah. make it count. Want to yeah. get one of these? As far as I know, yeah. As far as I, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's something else out there. Yeah. We come back as a butterfly or some shit, but I don't put know. Some Hope, more, hopefully put some more not. Media flavors out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. People, people got certain images, and yeah. it's up to us to to diversify those. Oh yeah, images. no doubt, no doubt. Diversify and and, and it's some like, bro, it's yeah. like a black, black brother, Japan making grits. I'm like, dude, that's. That's shit that people would never in their life, if they didn't meet you or sit down at one of your tables, man, mm-hmm. they would never in their life consume grits. You know what I mean? And it's something that's so simple, like grits, grits. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about like, it's like, you know, it's it's like grits is grits, man. Yeah, but like, yeah, nah, yeah. man, like we go to the commissary, the grits is all in stock. Mm-hmm. There ain't nobody really buying them. Yeah. It's, only, it's only like 30% of the base that know what a grits is. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Most people think it's like some shit you put on like uh, some bread, you know, put in, you know, some <laughs> breading or mm-hmm. pan, what's that, panko or whatever that shit. Panko, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, nah, it's grits. Yeah. like, oh, no, it's not the cornmeal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 man, but keep it real, man. But again, Absolutely. guys there, thank you for tuning in. Thank you again, Dave, for stopping in. Thanks for Wiz for, for facil- facilitating. Yeah, yeah. This is going to be Donnie Sano for Solid Japan. Pinko Style Podcast. See you guys later. Peace.